right now it's all right let's speed run this bitch please no expectations expectations um are you ready yep now it started sweet um recap time do you guys remember what happened last time we saw a big snake and then killed a big snake <laughs> That's that's the highlight I remember. We one shot your boss. We we almost destroyed the priest, but he stopped me from killing him. A big smoky yeah. mist. And then we went to see uh, Arch Archimedes and uh, wrote a bunch of books. We haggled a bunch of books at him. And a mahogany desk. And a mahogany desk. A mahogany desk. Um. Yep, and I believe some of you, um, at least, uh, Aloran, you were able to grab some books, uh, that were of some interest. Yeah. <laughs> um. Do you okay. remember anything else that had happened? Uh, we purified a statue, and then it disappeared. There are footsteps leading away from the church thing that we're in, implying that the soldiers that were being housed here have already left. Yeah, out of the north entrance, there was a large mass of people leaving. Mm -hmm. You can probably uh, assume, well, to Vane's says, you could probably assume that they're heading north. They, they said so in their no in their note. Correct. There, there was also uh, three different letters that were on the mahogany desk uh, that uh, I don't know if anybody wrote them down or if you want me to type them up for you um, as like little things. If you do, let me know and I will go ahead and write them up and put them somewhere secure. Yeah, yes, uh, please. That would probably help. I, all I remember is one of them by Khan or something. Some kind of dragon lolly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one of them was about uh, a ritual. Um, about the. Oh, it was alchemical infusion ritual thing. Yep. And then um, after the last attack on the village, then you send the units north. Um, and the king will never know. Blah blah blah. Um, the second one was um, a alchemical, I guess, recipe for um, looks, what looks like a resurrection spell or a transformation spell. Has something to do uh, with the Philosopher's Stone? Yep. Um, so instead of using a Philosopher's Stone, this is a different catalyst for a stone. And then the last one says that the Queen Kana um, lost some people. Um, the only information that you know is that they go by two different uh, names, King and Pet, and that whoever this guy is really hates them right now. Um, and then the other key thing that I want you guys to remember was that there was a key ha, um, that Tavain holds, and it's uh, in the shape, I believe I said it's in the shape of a crescent moon. I don't know, but I don't think anyone remembers. Is it the key to Tavain's heart? <laughs> uh, I wonder how much I could sell that for. Is Tavane is secretly a sealer moon? Yes, yeah. the, the key the key to to Tavane's heart, I wonder I wonder who would buy it and for how much. Yeah, Axel, so how much would you buy it for? And I'm discovering that he that he's really much more of a friend than a lover, so <laughs> I'll be about three fifty. <laughs> Um, so then, sense. take it or leave it. 
you guys went ahead and called Archie. You dropped off. You sold all the books. I don't remember how much he sold them to you for. You wrote it down. Um, good, because I didn't. We wrote it down and uh, we split it up. So. And yep. you almost lost uh, Tavain in a pop-up book. That was fun. And then... Hey. Um, after you are done with Archimedes, which is where we stopped off, uh, he basically drops you off in front of the town where the drawbridge is. So you all exit through the door, turn around, and there's no longer a door there. Something tells me that, like, if he remembers, he's probably going to be pretty upset that we sold a bunch of cultist books. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the other thing, is that he was saying that the theories and uh, writings of these cultists are either wrong or just lunatic talk. Yeah, and my character should not right. take it seriously. My character might be approaching a crisis of faith. He'll need to talk out with the DM later. Oh, before God. he levels up. What? What? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. Do you want to do that now? No, because it'll take too long. Okay. I'm going to just hold on to my level until after that discussion. Okay. Cool. At least take your HP stat. of faith. Uh, um, so as you all stand um, before the town, um, the bridge, there's uh, the guards at the top recognize you guys, and the bridge is lowered. Um, and again, a whole bunch of hoopla behind the bridge. Hoopla. And um, once it's lowered all the way, you see the priestess, Tana, is standing there with other priests and priestesses. Um, Where are the hunky guards that came with us? They none Pal came with you. Came to town with Paladin, so didn't we? Yeah, we remember we came when we were escorting the wagon. We're back in the town, so they are in the town, right? Yeah. Cool. So are they there too? Not at the gate. <laughs> I'd have forgot about them. I didn't forget about them. They're just not at the gate. <laughs> I was like, fuck these paladins. I have names for them and everything. God damn it. They're just not there. Um, I like the one that's like, "Yo!" Fuck <laughs> sakes. He's chill. Um, I wrote down their names. Hold on. Um, Milo, Raph, Nicolette, and uh, Amir. Um, are the floor guards that you're thinking of. They are not at the gate. They are in the town, though. Um, but when you cross the bridge and Vain delivers the good news um, to Hena, she... All of the uh, collective just kind of sighs and... They are all just very relieved, and they each individually hand you skull masks and ask that you enjoy the real goddess's blessings and teachings. Okay. And Henna says, she teaches that we are given, that the life we are given is ours, and every life is lived to the fullest. And as the rest of you enter, you see you see the paladins. Um, they are already sitting down at like one of the uh, uh, food stands, um, eating some food. And the party that happened last night is still going on, um, except it's like more in full force again. Since they never really tore down anything. It's a festival! Yes! More than one night. 
Well, of course. Festivals That's normally like don't a, end in one night. Like a week long thing. Yes. <laughs> Thought so. So the ale runs dry. You have to go back to the farm and the cows. What? What farm? Does this place look like it can have a farm? Outside the village. It's all swamp. Yeah, it could be a fish farm or a frog farm. Swamp That's farm. Trim. Swamp farm. I live... Dude, what do you think fucking Florida is? It's just one big swamp. We've got farms here. <laughs> yeah. Well, hell, there's the a big... environment to do it. Hell, there's a big ass swamp behind my house and right down the road there's a fucking cow farm. Louisiana? <laughs> huh? Louisiana? No, Florida. No, but Louisiana's worse. Yeah. Louisiana and Florida are like two in the same. I feel like somebody would kill you for saying that. I don't know who, but I'm sure there's somebody that would kill you for saying oh, that. Probably some guy that's screwing his sister right now that will object to that. <laughs> yeah. Or some Florida man. No, someone from Jacksonville, clearly. That's a Florida man. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys are set free to do anything that you want. The only thing is that the shops are closed. Like, closed, closed. Oh, it's fine. What do you mean, why? No, you said that's fine. Oh, okay. I only heard why. I didn't even say why. You didn't. <laughs> why would that be all you hear? Why? Why would why, why be all you hear? Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because my internet's broken? Like, I fuck. also sound like shit, so I can't really blame you. You try hitting up the hammer. No. Anyway, we're free to roam around the town then, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I need a fucking drink. Damn. Yeah, Lord, a Lord, a Lord's like, I second that motion. <laughs> Back to the bar. <laughs> you really don't need to go to a bar. There's just drinks everywhere. I mean, even the drink. priest this henna is drinking. I'd say let's fucking party. Let's fucking party. Woohoo! Um, can y'all roll me constitution saving throws to see who's the most hungover? I am not drinking. <laughs> okay, for those that are drinking. <laughs> uh, my character is troubled by his crack is <laughs> A little too much to be drinking freely right now. Uh... Hold on, let me get to my character. Are you drinking? Uh, yeah. He'll drink. He doesn't know he can't get drunk, because he doesn't know he, that drunkenness is a thing. He thinks you drink and then just act weird just because. Yeah. Oh, me and Ren got the same constitution save. <laughs> Woo! Wake oh. up in the bed together. No. No. <laughs> wow, that Lord was low. With a plus six. It was still one of the highest that rolls, was, though. I didn't say you had sex. You just ended up in a bed together with a woman between the two of you. That's all. <laughs> I, no. 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 Well, that is not Bren. Um, not Lauren, either. Lauren and Bren, your night is going fantastic, and after two drinks, you're about hammered. Um, Vice, you get about one extra one down before you're hammered. <laughs> Siegfried. Sigfrid! You're having this time in your life. Woo! You think that this is the greatest thing ever, and you have absolutely no idea why. Wait. Alorn keeps drinking after he's hammered. Just saying. Just throwing right. it out there. Uh, then roll again, but with disadvantage. Oh, shit. You're killing yourself, bud. Eh, that's fine. Oh, not one. <laughs> oh. Wow. Alright. Look at my luck, everybody. Look at it. It's so amazing. How much cool is he using? Uh, is there Look anything else luck. anybody my wants to do for the, the night of the party? 
Find a quiet place and think. The quietest place is probably the temple. The temple. Yep. Ooh. No, I'm not gonna do that right now. Um. So what happens? Do I like die of alcohol poisoning or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite, but uh, you do make some stupid decisions. Eh, wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. Hopefully, it just doesn't come to bite me in the ass. Um. All right. So in the morning. No. Yeah. I actually would like to have my character resolve their issue real quick. I think I can make it short. All right. Like let's, five minutes. let's let's go into the damn chat. Hope they write it down because I can't record that. I was looking through the homebrew feats and I found one that I almost took, uh, that I almost wanted to look at. It's called High Functioning Alcoholic. <laughs> it lets you uh, drink potions as a bonus action rather than a, a full action. That's funny. That would be interesting, though. Take a second to throw some shit for the city. And usually you have a little bit of RP going on during this downtime, but no one's got anything to do. Uh, I would. No, nah, I'm drunk. Like well, I'm not drunk, but I'm like ten drunk. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just feel like shit. I don't have the energy for it right now.
<laughs> Thank you for your patience, guys. Axe, Axe, what comes here? I hope you write that down, because that's not going to be in the recording if you decide to change your mind later. Or forget. Fair. I don't think he'll forget. I don't think so. Um. Get some real great A character development right there. So Axel will come out and consume alcohol like around midnight after having his crisis. Well, roll a constitution saving throw. Also rolls a one. Also rolls a one. <laughs> I got a ten. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Um. So. <laughs> When you guys wake up, um, Bren, uh, you wake up hungover with a splitting headache. Um, you wake up next to some of the uh, other paladins. Um, uh, I think I really just need to put a bookmark where their names are because I can never remember them. <laughs> Milo, Amir, Nicolette, and Raph. Thank you. And Milo's uh, a slang you, one. <laughs> you uh, wake up next to Raph. Um, who also has a splitting headache, um, but is holding, uh, holding just so gently onto his mug of beer somehow. Magically. Um, Paladin powers. Paladin powers. <laughs> Um, Axel and Vice, the the gods is the path you the guys abilities. at some point got into a uh, theological debate last night, but don't remember a goddamn thing from it. So the both of you are sitting across from each other, faces planted onto the table. <laughs> With little scratches on pieces of paper that make absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, Siegfried Jeez is best served with nougat. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, Siegfried, uh, you put Arnold to sleep. Um, you guys did come back with Arnold, and Arnold was just dead tired. So you put Arnold to sleep. Um, and then decided to go out and try and go fishing by yourself. You came back, found out that everyone was asleep, so you tried to go to sleep, but this fish was too tantalizing, so you ate the fish. The fuck? I like how, like, uh, the fucking goblin is just like a child that we have to take care of. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. Man-child. We have, to... <laughs> have to change his diaper in the morning. Um, Aloran? Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Uh, see how... <laughs> um, you don't remember this, but I'm going to tell you, in the middle of the night, you went to check on Arnold to see if he was sleeping okay, uh -huh. got pulled into a room, and you woke up next to another woman. Oh, no. fuck. <laughs> but your clothes are on. Um... And her clothes are on. You guys are just cuddling very closely together for warmth. <laughs> warm. <laughs> Hillary's like, oh, fuck. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have had as much drinks as I did. <laughs> like, rolls out of bed, stumbles, slamming into the door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Your coordination is uh, zero, and you are extremely nauseous. Would that be enough to like, check to get out of bed? <laughs> Absolutely not. He would fail that. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no. No. It's no. more fun this way. <laughs> um... So everyone except for Siegfried has a hangover. Oh, woo. Woo, woo. 
<laughs> I go to the well and just get a bucket of water and dump it on myself. <laughs> All right. Are the yep. shops open? Nah, everyone else in the town is either have ha is either throwing up, has a hangover, or is getting ready for the day. <laughs> Alorin's gonna go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> in swamp water? Why does I everyone care. look so terrible? I don't know, is there a river nearby? Swamps typically uh... have rivers nearby. It's a swamp. I mean, it's a river just through lots of mud? It's... Uh, I don't know. No, the rivers... Uh, the ri there's, like, actual, like, torrent rivers that go are are. around near swamps. That's mm -hmm. true. As swamps Let get me, their water. Mississippi River, as an example. Let me look. I did not place rivers on this map. How stupid. Oh, <laughs> well, you just have to leave the map tomorrow. Uh, let me see if I have the other map. <laughs> there is a river that goes kind of past. I have a very crude map. I really need to update these. Um, oh. that goes, uh, let's try and draw this. Uh, that goes like there. What? Uh, if you're on level twenty. Okay. Uh, where? Oh, that's <laughs> close enough. That's fairly close. It's like, what, it's a very long? it's not that big. Um, it's pretty small. River's a river. Yeah. I I would like to see if I can use my craft alchemical potion since I'm in this place which has lots of things to throw together, just a quick hangover tincture. Yes. Um You actually have almost all the ingredients. The only thing that you're missing is mushrooms. There's gotta be some around here somewhere. <laughs> You could literally walk outside, walk a few feet, look at the ground, and there's probably mushrooms there. Um, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Cause I, I'm thinking, I want to make a big batch for the whole town, if I can. <laughs> I didn't take anything you give me. Uh, it takes you about an hour to, to get a, enough mushrooms for the whole town. Right. Then do I roll my alchemical potion craft? Um... You can bother. You'll roll us... Um, yeah. Just to see how good they are. 18. They're, they are very effective. Extremely effective, actually. I'm going to first happens. have some myself, and then I'm just going to set up and just start ladling it out to people. Oh my god. Someone's used to having a hangover and making <laughs> potions. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's done this before. You're welcome. I'm not still not having it. I'd rather have a hangover than drink anything he serves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> not that I'm even there right now. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, Kenny, I think the uh, lady has a few questions for you. Huh? I think he has a few questions for the lady. <laughs> <laughs> Was she even a lady? That's the question. Ah. Alorin does not have any intention of finding out. <laughs> <laughs> Runs away. <laughs> <laughs> Runs away towards the fucking river. <laughs> uh, hey, Alorin, do you want some... No! Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck off. My head hurts. <laughs> I must get this off now. Uh, <laughs> it it takes you probably like thirty minutes to get to the river, at least to a good part of the river. Sweet. Is it uh, like torrent, torrent, or is it like can I just like wade in and hang out for a little? You bit? You could wade in. It's 
it's not deep. It's not very deep, at least for this time of year. Um, it's like goes maybe up to your weight, not even. Sweet. I'd just like to take a minute, just rest in the water for a little while. <laughs> I feel like this is what Kenny would actually like to do right now. Actually, low key, yeah. Hot bath. No, I hate hot. I hate hot showers when I'm sick. Right. I'm gonna use the uh, the water in my canteen to wash my face. There is spring water at the center of the village. But he's too hungover and tired to go all the way over there. <laughs> Hey, 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 do you want some, uh, do you want some, uh, hangover potion? Hangover elixir? Whatever? No, thanks, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> the people of the town are definitely taking it, though. Um, for every person that is hungover, they have taken it. They are very thankful for it. Now to see the side effects of that. <laughs> <laughs> Now to find uh, out what it actually does. As you sit there, there are no side effects. <laughs> All right. Well, um, the vein emerges from wherever the fuck he was hiding. Um. <laughs> And sees half of the party there. And he goes, So we should probably gather everyone up and start heading out. Uh, we need to start filling this caravan with the supplies. <clears throat> oh, what a weird morning. Um, our next stop is Enri. Uh, we will drop off the stuff that we have and then return to Kalani. Um... Luckily, we can just drop off the cart and head back with our little troop, and then we need to get this key to someone. Maybe Wiz or um, one of the goddesses know what to do with it, and I don't know. Who knows? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm over today. <laughs> it's only just because... Did you need some elixir? Oh, I didn't drink last night. It's not just good for like for for hangovers. Don't just come for out from alcohol. Ah, uh, sure. Fuck it. <laughs> give, give me some of that. Give me some of that <laughs> shit. Can I have some too? Are you, are you even hungover? I just want to try it. All right. Gonna, all right. I it think there's like enough. Now he's too. extra not hungover. <laughs> <laughs> take, take sip. This is like mushroom soup. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> right, uh, maybe. Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, no. The vein it takes some of it to uh, uh, Milo. <laughs> I mean, an a an anti hangover uh, or a no. hangover cure is going to have anti headache. M properties, so whatever's giving him a headache. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> he's not gonna tell you. I'm not asking what's giving him a headache, I'm just telling him it'll help. There. There. Um, he takes it uh, to Raph and Milo, or yeah, Raph and Milo, who seem to be the most drunk. Um, Nicola and Amir are already loading the uh, car the caravan. Um, it's being filled with potions and herbs and dyes, spices, and even little uh, skull trinkets um, that the local townspeople have made. Um, potions. I'm not going to take any. I just want to look them over. They're more like healing potions. Um, they're they're nothing like too fancy. They're just like necessities that you would need. Um, there's quill, night quill, the quill. Yeah. Um, herbal potions, just you know, things to help with the common cold or flu or whatever. Um, when it comes to medicine, 
Uh, when it comes to medicine, uh, Varen actually has a really firm grasp on uh, um, diseases and stuff. Unlike most countries, um, Varen, due to Helen's large al alchemist population, um, is like the main supplier of these kind of remedies. So it like makes sense. I'm gonna, competition. Paul. I'm gonna take a box into the back of the carriage, and I'm not gonna leave the back of the carriage after saying it down. It's gonna sit there. Yeah. Just... <laughs> You're just gonna sit in the back of the... <laughs> Alright, that's fair. <laughs> um and uh Arnold is going to go ahead and sneak in right next to you, um covered in blankets and under a box. And he kind of puts a finger up to his lips and, says, and he's like, shh, I'm not here. Can I roll a sneak? <laughs> no, Self. don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so once everyone is gathered, um, you guys are going from Helen to Enri. Um, it takes about a half a day, a day and a half um, with absolutely no interference um, to get to Enri. Uh, Enri, or at least the area of Enri, um, is a town with farmland that spans far and wide, rolling hills and sweeping valleys. The town itself is laid out wide streets, many storehouses and shops, trade posts and shops on the outskirts. Um, sorry, trade posts and shops on near the downtown and on the outskirts, houses and small bakeries and pastry shops. Uh, the caravan is then emptied once you get to one of the storehouses of the many potions and herbs and quickly filled with uh, other miscellaneous supplies um, that will go to one of the other storehouses and stuff like that. The cart is no longer a problem, yes? Correct! Um, the vein says, well, um, I guess we should go ahead and rest here. We have about an hour before we should set out. Um, we'll make camp somewhere along the road, so we'll be fine. So you guys have an hour to go ahead and do anything that you want here. The There is a blacksmith here. Um, but it, they work on mostly, um, farm equipment, and there is no magic shop, um, and there is, like, an odds and ends, like, shop and bakeries and stuff like that. Lauren would like to stop by a nice little quaint bakery. I, go to the I would also like to stop by at a different bakery. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Bakery beef going on. I mean, <laughs> clearly Lauren doesn't like me, so I'm a not intrude. I went to the blacksmith and try to get my he daggers and weapons you. sharpened. He just doesn't. He oh. just doesn't trust you with beverages. <laughs> what about That's... baked goods? <laughs> uh, I got this just real quick. Anything, anything that has to do with ingestion, um, he's not very keen to partake in if it's come from you. And I have done nothing to deserve this. That's not true. That's not true. I'm saying that I have a character. <laughs> I have done one thing that your character doesn't even know about. He, ha he is reasonably suspicious <laughs> about it. And he's seen other characters act suspicious about it. I'm gonna go to a blacksmith and get my Daggers and weapons sharpened to maybe my armor patched up a bit. Alright. Um, so the, um, one, <clears throat> the bakery that Aloran goes to specializes in cherry products, and the bakery that, um, Axel goes to specializes in apple products. Oh, so like iPhones and stuff. Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> Damn. I need to get my iPhone updated to the newest iOS, please. They're lovely. I, uh, lovely. So many pastries. 
I just want to get a couple Apple turnovers, like a couple to eat now, and then a couple that'll last until, you know, the, whenever they go, you know, presumably in this day and age, they'll only last, like, maybe two days. I'll get, I'll get a pie, and I'll get some, like, basic bitch, like, pastries that are just, like, filled with cherry filling. Uh, so, um, for Axel, it's four Apple turnovers. Is four good? Four, four sounds good. Four sounds good? Okay. Um, that'll be one silver, please. One silver. Uh, do you have change for gold? Uh, yeah. Cool. So, I will... We have more than one. One silver. Or, wait, you need to get to draw the coin. He didn't right. take a bunch of money because he took the gems, remember? Alright. Um, and then, Aloran, what were you getting? A pie and some just... I guess some turnovers as well. Like, four or five of them. Um, does four turnovers sound good? Yeah, four cherry good. turnovers? So, four cherry turnovers is um one silver, and then the pie is five silver. Okay, so six silver. I'm gonna eat one of my turnovers right away. So they are so delicious. I'm just one turnover. Every the four is one silver then. Like one and a half copper, two and a half copper. I mean, stuff is. I mean, adventurers admittedly get paid a lot of money. <laughs> like in the economy of D and D. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that gold um, like a whole ass week's worth of pay for like a fucking person? Like one gold? Yeah, you also have to remember stereotyping is a hundred percent a thing in, in uh in this world. Like they oh, can tell that it. you are an adventurer, which probably means you're fucking loaded. You give us more money. Got scammed. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the, prices of, the prices have actually yeah, changed. The Lord doesn't uh, actually give a shit. The prices are actually uh two plat per pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little bit unaffordable even for me. Yeah. <laughs> um. I, I I could only afford eleven. I could only afford four five pies that way. <laughs> Uh, Bren, you go to the blacksmith, um, and the blacksmith says that, uh, he'll just go ahead and charge you, like, uh, two silver to go ahead and get all your weapons shapened up and, um, your armor patched up, just because it, your armor might require some extra materials. Two silver? Yep. Oh, and I would like to eat one of the turnovers right there when I get it and compliment them on it. I'd like to be nice. The ladies are ex the old biddies that run the shop are extremely happy and tell you how cute of a young boy you are. <laughs> how old are they? Probably like fifty. So they're like my age. They're humans. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Thank you. Thank you. Very well, now. I should be writing this in a different color. Elves be like. <laughs> Elves be like. Child. <laughs> Child. I have grandchildren older than you. My apple turnovers. Um. Adam and uh, Ducky, was there anything that you guys wanted to do? I gotta think of. Uh, there was food you said. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta pay for it. How? Uh, I want one of everything. That sounds like him. <laughs> A lot. Probably. Sigrid wants one of everything. Sigrid must try it all. Where, so are you you want where are you a, doing this at? You want a slice of pie? Where, where you guys are. So you, you go places. over to so the I like shop. A, yeah, I'm coming in after they've eaten. So you go over to the shop that Aloran's at. 
Um, and you ask for a slice of pie, an apple turnover, um... Cherry. Cherry. Use it to cherry, please. Oh, my bad. Uh, cherry pie, uh, cherry turnover, uh... Pop it. A, uh, cherry croissant, and then... Another cherry fritter, cherry turnover, cherry... A cherry, cherry fritter. Donut. A uh, cherry donut, a cherry filled donut. Um, a donut let's just say you cherry. spend a gold there. One gold spent. Can I eat it all now? Sure. He you wants could... to. Tr he wants to eat it all. In fact, please do so you don't have to put it in your inventory. <laughs> he learn. wants to eat it all. Can he eat uh, it all? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I you won't. can eat it while you're walking over to the other one. Sweet. Which is right across the street from the <laughs> <laughs> the apple. And Lauren watches this, and his mouth is literally just a gape, like, like <laughs> <just> utter <laughs> and complete surprise. Like, what is wrong with this man? <laughs> so, how much? What do I get? How much does the stuff from the other stall cost? Uh, and while, while I'm asking for it, I'm shoving other stuff down my mouth that I'm holding on to. <laughs> Uh, also a gold's worth of just pastries. Okay. <laughs> One of everything, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then they tell you that there's, like, a place that sells, like, citrus stuff down oh, the way. Yeah. Onwood! <laughs> <laughs> hey, because Siegfried's not allergic to citrus! Yep. Onwood. Um, you also spend uh, uh, one gold and fifty silver there, because okay. they had lemon bars. Oh. So you get a whole tray of that. You said fifty silver? Yep. Okay. I got this. Uh, are you- are you- do you want to look for another place? Are you good on stuff? Is that everything? No. No. I mean, there's like a regular like donut shop with like there's different kinds of donuts. Does it have there's different options? Well, yeah. There's chocolate. There's onwood. Oh my Bro, god. Can he do all this in an hour? <laughs> Just like say you go ten different places and spend like. Uh, uh, Lauren would to... like to meet up at the fucking <laughs> with the rest of the party. He's like, "Yo, I got a pie. Y'all want to eat a pie with me?" Um. Sure. What? Well, if it's a Lauren cherry. handing out, then I'll have a slice. Uh, Tavane would love a slice of cherry pie. Loves cherries. Um. How much in total do I spend? I'm just gonna say you go to like. 20 gold. 10 places in total, and you spend uh, 12 gold. Uh, is that on top of what you already spent? Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ. How do you do all this in an hour? He's carrying it with him. Vampiric speed. I must try the world's cuisines. And when he gets back, you just see him carrying all of these goddamn pastries. And trying not to stumble like a tower so aside of Aside from confectionaries, is there anything else this town is known for? This city? <laughs> they do have trade posts. Hmm. Um, there and like miscellaneous like, shops. Huh? Is there like a pizza bakery? Uh, sure. <laughs> There's a pizzeria here. Why not? There's a pizzeria. Oh my god. Oh uh, no. Now you're gonna get Adam gonna go try all the Italian food. He already <laughs> got it. He already did. I got everything. Like legitimately uh, everything. Oh, okay. I uh I just wanna take a look see around the trading post to see if there's any specifically if there's any of that one particular mm, one or two of those one or two specific plants I'm looking for, but also just anything else more exotic. 
or interesting. Compare prices to what I know I'm be uh, my partner is selling back home. You know, just kind of peruse. Um. Uh... I could roll uh, perception if you'd like me to. No, I let insight. you roll. <laughs> I think it's investigation. Okay. Um, actually... <clears throat> I guess perception would be the best thing. <clears throat> yeah, do perception. Nat 20. Uh... Uh... <laughs> well... This particular, uh, at least this particular warehouse, um, in the way of herbs, has quite a bit. They don't have anything overly special. Um, you do see a lot of what you saw um, at Helen, um, and that's probably because that's where they get their main supply from. You see, like, blue seagrass, that's an interesting one. Um, with that, you can uh, breathe underwater for a limited amount of time. Uh, it is cheaper than um, most places. Yeah, I'll get some. Alright, um, for let's see, how much do you want to get? Enough for on average about a dozen potions. Let's see. So, 12, 12 parcels at... Well, how much is it a parcel, I suppose I should ask? Um, each parcel is six copper. Oh. Then I'll just get, uh, I'll just get ten to keep it, well, no, I'll get twelve. Twelve. So that I'll be, s I'll... I really want pizza. Like, IRL. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually order pizza and go pick it up. Um, I haven't eaten all day, so that, I feel uh, like I probably that seven, should. That's seven silver yeah. and two copper. Yep. I'll be back. Bye. <laughs> all right. So, uh, actually, if we can go around to the shopping district too, the market stands, I'll go around and try to get some like dried meat and some. Do stuff. Hi. Right. Sure. I'm travels. surprised no one's asking me for anything. I'm going to go to the nearest rope store and buy an abundant amount of rope. <laughs> so much rope. What? That's uh, not a joke. That's real. I won't. I'm tired of running out of rope. Vice is just sick of it. What? Okay. You're going to buy a very large amount of rope. I think uh -huh. like an average amount is like fifty feet, right? Yeah. When I get, he's gonna get like maybe about two hundred feet. Are you getting like hemp rope or silk rope? Hemp rope. Hemp rope. Yeah. Um, every fifty feet is a gold. All right. He spends four gold. Be at two hundred feet of hemp rope. How much you want me to drop for travel rations? That. Uh. Rations are well for the whole thing. That includes, um, jerky, fruit, nuts, and uh, crackers. It's I think. Five silver. Right. Um, that's for like a day's worth. So I'm gonna get like, I mean like three days worth then. So I think if you just type in rations, it should just pop up rations. Uh, I'm looking for a gold top or. 
money costs. I'm not gonna add it. Huh? I think for money costs, I'm not gonna add it. Uh, I guess one gold, fifty silver. All right. You couldn't put it in. I don't know how. Burn. Huh? Burn. 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 I'm sorry. It's okay. You could just copy paste it though. I'll do it later. Okay. What you're saying? I just wanted putting to it in. It. Hmm. What you're saying about putting it in somewhere? Um, if you just type in rations, um, uh, it'll it's just the same thing. Hello. I ordered a Stromboli. I will get on my phone whenever I leave, though. Because we're not going to be needing a roll 20 a whole lot, right? No. Not at all. Is there a place to get drinks? You guys are only here for an hour. <sighs> Alert also you goes to your hour. Pizza, by the way. He sits and casually eats a stromboli with double pepper. Am I with everyone sausage. right now? Yeah, we've regrouped. Remember, you came back. And Can we please like stay I... here for longer? I want to try the drinks. No! <laughs> Tevain, please! Tevain, Tevain need... puts his foot down and he's like, no! <laughs> uh, Siegfried starts, like, begging and he starts slamming his head against the ground. Please, just ten minutes! He starts like, bleeding from his head. Lord he walks begs. away. He's like, "This is not my problem." <laughs> okay, what if I go with you to get a drink, one, and then we come back and we leave? Get a bottle. We go. Can we get? Can we get drinks to go? We can get drinks to go. <gasps> oh, onward! One drink. Onward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys find a lemonade stand. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, Michelle's hard lemonade stand. No, it's just a regular lemonade stand. I, I want. Would. I slam my hands on the table with my forehead all bloody. I want your best drink. We sell lemonade, sir. I'll take one. They grab a cup, put <laughs> some ice in it, and then pour the lemonade in and give it to you. Uh, Siegfried just slams the gold on the table and is like, hurrah, and then leaves. LPRB. Sir, you overpaid. <laughs> He's just drinking and walking away. <laughs> if it's a little girl, wouldn't He's... he be like, thank you, sir? <laughs> is it a little girl? Yeah, it is a little girl. <laughs> she's all she's extremely concerned and confused. The man just walked up to her with a bloody forehead, asked for lemonade, and gave her a gold. Mama, I'm Mama. <laughs> she just got blood money. Quite literally. Um, well, I'd say they're the first time for everything, but this is D&D, &D, so that little girl could be 150 for all we know. It's fair. I'm pretty sure this is a human town. Oh, is it Points a human itself, town? Points uh, at Raspberry, says, you're not, we're not human, and we're in the town. <clears throat> uh, it's a mixed race. Okay. All towns are mixed race. I'm just thinking like majority human though. Um, this this okay. isn't no. Denmark. No. Don't make such assumptions. No. Um. Actually, most uh, if we're talking about demographic, <sighs> most of most of the towns are either elf, <coughs> halfling, uh, or um, no. On that on yeah. that note, I'm gonna be a bee. Where are you going? I'm gonna make myself something. I'm hungry. Okay. There's a soup. All that talk about food. Yep. I think everyone's hungry then. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, I already ate. I'm good. I woke We're up like an hour before we started, so. 
You didn't have it. What? Mm -hmm. No. I got <laughs> But Can we continue without you? Cool. Imagine you just sitting in the back of a carriage or something while eating food while we all... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um... We had half the parties in the back of, back of here. I could set up my alchemy table, but uh, we're not supposed to right, walk right in the carriage. We're supposed to walk. You guys aren't in the see. carriage. No, isn't... No. We're leaving it behind. Oh, that's right! It's gone! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh. So then it takes about two more days to get back to Kalani. Um, when you guys return, uh, you are, again, greeted by love the guards and everything, and a carriage is there um, waiting for you, and it takes you to the palace. You enter through the great big doors once again, and instead of going through the entrance hall doors, you go down a small hallway um and he Tavane leads you to um a room off the side it is a meeting room it has a large wood table in the center of the room with books papers and a large map of Varen with piece with little pieces strewn about sitting at the table is queen alan king Varen, the wizard archie and two others that you have not met. First is a human with a falcon perched on his shoulder, and the other is a lizardman in full plate armor. Any reactions? Perception checks or anything like that? I will do a perception check. I probably recognize them, correct? Just give it to me if I do. Uh, yes, you do know who they are. Well, actually, you don't know who one of them is. I can imagine it's the one with the hawk that I don't recognize. I would like to greet everyone and take a look around, see if I recognize those two people. I think I found the table. I think I know where that <laughs> floor is. Speaking of which, I would like right. to perform the proper etiquette, like bowing or scraping or whatever uh, stuff uh, you're supposed to Yes. As everyone else's. Hold on. You can't spell. Um, what did everyone roll? Uh... Can you roll for me? That's the notebook. Mm. Wow. I should just roll for everybody at that point. Um, I don't really rolled my past perception, so. Uh, Lauren, you rolled a 20. Like in that 20 or, uh, uh, uh 16 plus 4. Okay, sweet. So, let's see. Axel, there are people in the room. <laughs> it's a very nice room. Vice, that's about as much information as you get other than what I've already said. Um, Ren, uh, you get your bit of information, um, and plus the, uh, 
Let's see. Uh, the map uh, shows unit movements and troop movements. Aloran, um, you can see that the map shows um, troop movements. Um, you can see that the lizardman um, in full plate is not paying attention to any of you. Um, and then uh, you can tell that um, the king is extremely nervous. Oh, funky. I would like to try and get the lizard man's attention just to, like, I guess bother him. Hey, hello. Hey, there's, there's people here now. So, I'm going to sit so, in the back of the group. lizard man in the, in the full place armor. Hello? <laughs> Um, I'm going to wait just a second. Adam? I want to I wanna say the following entirely as a joke. Heads up. Hold on. I throw my knife at him! No, I don't. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, he did? Um. The king and queen are there. You have to break it up into tiny pieces. Of course you have to cut it into little pieces. You're gonna eat it, and Adam's a man-child. Yes. You have an audience with the king and queen. Nice. Are you gonna do anything? He says, like, I'll talk to them later after you eat Meanwhile, the king and queen are sitting there patiently waiting. Giving <laughs> thumbs all over the floor. You want to get aired? Because this is how we get aired. Well, that reminds me. I need to talk to my landlord about that. Yes. Wait. Okay. Um, Siegfried's response is to wave his hands in the air and start doing jumping jacks. I'm going to slink to the back of the group. <laughs> um, oh, that's why you didn't put a disguise on. I didn't get, because I can get the chance to. I mean, like, say I did that beforehand? Or... Yeah. yeah. Well, you uh, guys were in the carriage. I want to uh, be wearing the skull mask they gave me, like, on my, on the side of my head, like, you know, like almost like as a hat sideways hat. Like how they do in anime. Yeah, because they um, gave us skull hats from the from the village, right? Yeah, they did. I'm I'm using minor illusion to give myself an insanely large uh, cowboy bulge. Hat. Oh, okay. Very tall cowboy hat. Uh. It clicks all right. through the ceiling. Um. So the queen stands up and I'm she back. says, "Ah, perfect. I was wondering where you were. Um, let me introduce you to um some of the councilmen. Obviously, you have already met Archimedes, our wizard. Um, the human next to me is named. Uh, his name is Artix. He is the Avian Grand Marshal, and next to him, um, is the lizardman Gamma." Our grand tactician. A pleasure to meet you all. Pleasure, uh, pleasure. Does the lizard man ever acknowledge me, even though I was like actively trying to get his attention? Absolutely not. Oh, oh, oh! Can I do something? Can I do something? What? Oh, can no. I walk up? Can I walk up to them? To who? To everyone and offer a high five. To. The okay, people I'm at, my at the table. table. What? To the people at the table? Yeah. Be like, hey, how's it going? To everyone. Does the lizard man dap him up? No. No, I can't do well, it. Well, you can, but the lizard man doesn't even look at you. And then, um, I, I, then I'm, then I'm like, ah, oh, it's okay, and then pat him on the back, and then move on. Uh, you can go to Artix. Who looks at you kind of funny and 
like reluctantly gives you a high five. E. Uh, you go to Archie. And Archie looks at your hand kind of weird and pokes it. Uh, and then you go to the queen. Uh, she has no words and or reactions for you. I'm sad now. Big breath is sad. He's like, he goes to high five and, and then she doesn't react and he's just like, oh. What? Can I do a persuasion check to get the lizard man to dap me up? <laughs> sure. Oh my god. Uh, does a 25 work? Oh, damn. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> damn. That was almost a nat 20. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You can barely roll higher than that. <laughs> the yeah. not can only roll one higher than that. Uh, yeah. Uh, he doesn't look at you, but he 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 gives you a fist bump. All right. Good enough. Uh. Fist bump. And uh, so Tavain um, I breaks away from the group <laughs> and gives the key. Uh, to his mother, the queen. Uh, she studies the key carefully, and she goes, and You guys found this where? Uh, well... We kind of found it on this death priest, dude, as he was vanishing after we totally captured him and almost brought him here for you. But then some crazy lady was like, nope, and used dark bread fog to whisk him away. But your uh, your boy here thought fast enough and threw a dagger and managed to snag the key out of it first. So uh, kudos to him. Good job. Good team effort, everybody. Mm. I want to roll charisma to see how convincing I am and how, how charming I am. Okay. Because I want to roll something. Okay. He preferring it. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you have a lot of bravado when you say it, and you're pretty confident. It's it's pretty awesome. I mean, I don't care if it's bravado or confident. It needs to be right for the room. Yeah. Uh, uh, everyone uh, nods their head in approval. <laughs> Except for the lizardman. Um. Lauren's like, yeah, he he's got he's got the. That was a very good way of wording it, my friend. Very very good, very very well. Very very well. Um. So then, uh, she hands the key, um, to Wiz, and he looks at it and he goes, "Why, this." Is the crest of Corellin. I haven't seen this crest in ages. By any chance, is one of you a follower of Corellin? Not it. Um. Yes. I say sadly, because I'm still sad. Okay, I'm gonna go get some sweet tea real quick. Up. Alright. Uh... The, the queen sits back down and she goes, Of course, of course, it's you. <laughs> what are you doing here anyways? Having fun. I thought you were having fun somewhere else. I had enough fun there, so now I'm having fun. <laughs> you know she's you gonna like... kill you. I 
feel like I need to run insight on this whole conversation. All right. For those that want to know, run insight. Death is an adventure. Death is an adventure. <laughs> Bren, you have no idea what's going on. I'm too busy trying to hide from this shit. <laughs> I'm trying to stay out of sight. Uh, Axel. Uh, you can infer that these two people know each other. And probably have a history together. <laughs> um, right. So, uh, uh, Ardix sighs and says, well, it would make sense they would be using these as leverage. I mean, they're the celestial keys, aren't they not? And Archie sighs and says, Well, yes, but I never thought that they would actually be in our home. Or I guess our plane of existence. A, I'm pretty sure everyone here is familiar with the theory that there are multiple planes of existence, correct? Ish. Good enough to pass a course for. I'd like to do a persuasion check to say that I know everything about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Or would that be a deception? That would be a deception check. All right. All right, 21. I know everything about that. Uh, some people believe you, some not so much. It's a bit obvious who doesn't believe you. Uh, Archie raises her eyebrow and goes, hmm, interesting. Well, then one of the theories is that there is a plane specific for the gods. One that they would call home. But in order to get to this home, you need to have a key. It's like a house. To get into the house, you need key. But sometimes the keys just don't work. I'm gonna chime in, but how are these keys made? How do we? How are they here? Uh, the queen sighs and she goes, "That's the problem." For the longest time, the records had shown that the keys were with each god, so that way the gods can go back and forth. They need these so that way they can go from home to here or at least that's what it sounded like but from uh, obviously what we have seen that's not the case and even though you could probably give that key to Corellin herself she would not take it I mean we have tried many times to ask our two lovely goddesses here in town, but they just cannot answer the questions. So each, it's So if each god has their own key, would that and that not mean something happened to that specific god or are these keys forged by man? These keys but, but so, better question is it like a house in that you could leave it unlocked and leave the key outside the house? Well, we have thought about that, but it's, I guess it's hard to describe and explain in the way that if so our castle here is secured by magic, and that magic 
allows only people that know a certain phrase to open the door. Right? So you can go in and out with that phrase, but no matter what, you can't come back in unless you have that phrase. So we thought that maybe that's the way that this key worked, but in material form. But at the same time, could you reforge a celestial key? Would there be a locksmith or blacksmith good enough to reforge these? And the fact okay. that you found one makes me think that they're trying to do that themselves. I mean, if they can be forged, that also means they can be destroyed, which has very concerning implications. Also, we just might have a god that just doesn't want to go home and considers this place their home now. I mean, it's pretty nice here in certain places. Stay out of Denmark. Um, you know. <laughs> Stay out of Denmark. <laughs> Denmark. <laughs> I have a feeling you all have something against Denmark. Mm, why? I wonder. I wonder. Mm. Me too, me too. So then the other question is, why are each of you here? And why are these keys appearing now? I mean, we're here because well, you invited you us here. are the ones who brought us together. So, well, yes, but God, see, multidimensionally through time and space and all that bullshit. So, would it have anything to do with my fire starter? I mean, this book <laughs> that I have. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it, it never goes away, so I just use it to light fires all the time, because, I mean, it just rematerializes later. <laughs> um... I pull out this book, and it, it's still empty and blank, so... See, 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 look, I'm gonna walk. Uh, is there like a high window somewhere? Uh, there's a patio. So think of it like when you enter in uh, through one of the entrances ways, the two window or the two walls, the left and right walls, are like bookshelves and stuff like that. And then the back wall is just all patio. Um, so it's a glass. It's a, uh, uh, so accordion, I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm, accordion I'm gonna, door. Okay, I'm going to, like, walk up there and just, like, frizz me my book out and just let it go away. And then I'm going to reach in my backpack and pull it out again. See? Uh, Lauren, Lauren would like to pull out his, and he's like, yeah, I have one like that, too. Open it, I mean, snap I his fingers, to... use predisposition. And set it on fire, like just burn it up, and then pull it back out of this bag as well. Yes, you do, you do. I like, I like to say that. Um, I mean, huh? I thought it was just a prank that they pulled back off at the college, <laughs> but I mean, um, so the journal, so I, I should, um, yeah. taking a step away, the journals are in your guys's inventories. I do have specific items for the journals to be put into your inventories. Um, the only one oh. that actually does have his item officially in his inventory is Bren. Um, and that's because I... all of these items actually do something for you later on when you uh, unlock a specific part. Um, also on... I mean, mine is what allows me to summon Nalia, isn't it? Yes. Oh, uh, I mean, my character just uh, has assumed it was just a prank that never ended from his days at the College of Ashen. Um, Aloyne hears you mention the college, and he's like, y you attended the College of Ashen? Yeah, I, I, I do an occasional seminar there, too. I, help, I helped out oh. a lot of our professors and went into the wilds and, you know... Youth. I say, you guys can't get rid of yours. Mine keeps multiplying. I turn over my backpack and subtle cast the minor illusion, and I have a whole bunch of them keep falling out of my backpack. <laughs> wow. Maybe you're going to have a bunch of children or something. Or multiply yourself. 
maybe guys maybe he's a colony of like sentient mushroom spores that have just coalesced into the to to the forum he's currently that was a bad, in. And, that was a bad uh, joke, you're bad you're bad <laughs> And, uh, uh, you know, I hope I don't have communist ten li tendencies, but uh, maybe there's a book for each of them, and that's why there's so many. Nessa gets what I'm referencing. I get it. Um, sorry, Raspberry? What's your... My dumb. I was gonna say because I don't have that book thing in my inventory. I don't think. You should. <clears throat> oh shoot! I forgot I had that in my inventory. I don't think the book actually got added to my inventory. Mm. Oh, 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 do you know why? It's because... Why is... Oh, that there, doesn't... There's a possum. Oh, By the way, Connor, welcome. Raccoon. That's actually a raccoon, not a possum. Yeah, he's been in here. He's been I Probably that's worse, because yeah. I don't have Discord open. There you go. Yeah, he's just too much of a little bitch to get home from work. Uh, it is now in your inventory. Uh, that's what I kind of figured. No, not you. Also, you're muted. Um, on roll 20, uh, there should be, um, a thing uh that is oh, the handouts in the under characters got it found it um that should be um i'm only missing um Siegfried, Siegfried. <laughs> i'm going to leave call very briefly um i will be back I just don't have enough hands to hold both my phone and my and the tea and the stromboli. <laughs> that's that's fair. Okay. He can um, he can stromble my nuts any day. I mean, he is such a tea. Connor. Yeah. Who is your god? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Man, don't ask me such a charged question it's at this good. point in time. I don't know, but all I know is that his son is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be at the start of. Hang on, I'm scrolling up on the Discord chat. But <clears throat> well, give me X's since he's not here. Because that was the one I wanted. Be. Yeah, then that's, be hands then that's good. I don't fucking know all Oh things. my god. Can I just. Did I just. Can someone tell me I just pin it? Oh, I didn't pin it. Oh, pin it. Uh, I can't. Oh, you don't. Oh, the, you don't say whose god is whose. I. Didn't he take. Um. Henseth, god of strength and forges, when we had someone drop out? Yes. yes. Okay. Um. Now, uh, I'm gonna add something. To your guys' journals. Um, that when you go ahead and check them, um, 
Oh my lord, why do you do this to me? Because nobody else is around for the entertainment. Uh... So, uh, first I'm going to try it with, um, Paul, when you look in your journal, does it say more stuff in it? Let me refresh roll 20 first. Is it roll 20 journal or is it? Yes, it's on roll 20. Uh, yes. And I do these one by one. Luckily, I have these copy pasted documents. Type out. Look at you being prepared for today. So, as each and every one of you kind of opens your, like, looks at your journals, you notice that some of the pages are filled out. That's new. I'm sorry, I'm going down the list. Yes. No oh, shit, I'm not muted. Sorry for any noises we'll heard. Um, okay, we didn't hear anything. <coughs> the last one is Arnold, the uh Connor. When you get back you can read it. Definitely read it when you get back. All right, that should be everyone. I'll read it once I get back to my PC. So, uh, oh, you know, there's something new and shiny. It, huh. I'm Maybe not I shouldn't share. use this to light fires anymore, but at the same time... We can use the blank pages. Um, uh, are you on roll 20, babe? Go to roll 20. So, when I update the journals, I'll let you know ahead of time. Um, hmm. when they are updated. So that way, uh, you guys can go into roll 20 and look at them. Hopefully, you should not be able to see another person's journal. If you can, let me know. Uh, so that way I can go ahead and fix that. Um, and then, um, again, the journals on D&D &D Beyond 
will slowly but surely be added. They're going to be um, called books on D and D Beyond, though, because if you if if I do journals, then it's going to be weird and it conflicts with something else that I was doing beforehand. Um, as a test thing, and I really don't want to go back and change it. So. Any questions, comments, concerns about the books slash journals? Oh. All right. So, um, Back to what you guys were actually talking about, which was that you guys found out that there's writing in your journals, um, and Archie finds it extremely interesting, gets off of his high chair and walks over to one of the many, 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 many books that um, Vice has produced. Uh, and he picked them up. Uh, no, they go away if he uh, picks them up. Well, he tries to pick one up. <laughs> it poops. He's sad. Because I was really hoping that I could look at that. Well, I'll dig out the uh, the real one. I'll give. It, I'll, I'll hit to him. Um, he takes it, he looks at it, uh, and, uh, he kind of skims through it and he says, this is a completely blank book. That's funny. Says stuff for me. Hmm. What does it say? Anything useful? Anything. Not useful to you. Anything scandalous? I think that's some private information. Oh, it does say something scandalous. I knew it. So scandalous. Why do uh... Mine says something about Jarmog's dress being adorable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh who who is that speaking? Uh that, that's me as a DM. It says <laughs> the journal says a man a man of lizard descent and full plate armor will be your friend eventually. That's what it says. Gamma <laughs> supports. I mean, it doesn't have to be this one, so, I mean, there's a lot of lizards in the place where lizards are. Um, by the way, it's Yarmung. Your move? My, what about my mom? Oh, my God. No, your mom. <laughs> no, your mom. My mom was a sweet woman and was part of my background story. <laughs> Real. It's, it's pronounced Yarmong. I mean, I guess there's only so Who's many mom? souls in the English. Can you spell? In the, in the, in the can you spell with English characters? Who's mom? You know can you what? Can you spell well, with English characters? Mind. Uh, no. Uh, F U C K. Now, is this French? I'm not. I'm not quite fluent with French. What is this fook? <laughs> what is this fook? <laughs> um. So Archie gives Vice back the book, and and he goes. 
Well, can I see someone else's book? Sure. What will you give me for it? I just want to look at it. I here. Oh, I'll cost a few. It'll oh. come back eventually. <laughs> he does the same thing. Flips through it. Looks at it. Looks at the cover. Sniffs it. Sniff, sniff. There's nothing in here. Yeah. It's just a oh. Also, chemically, it's also alchemically inert, I've discovered. I wonder if it's or magically inert. He takes a bite out of the book. Uh. It tastes like I, duck. I, I was gonna say, you might want something to drink with that. I hear books are best when you have, like, some peach tea with them. Uh, depending on the vintage, depending on the vintage, mind you. I had a professor who preferred to eat his, his, you know, Necronomicons, you know, with a bit of jalapeno sauce, but I mean, to each their own. I, uh, I look over at Lauren. You know the one, right? No? Oh, okay. So Kenny, uh, huh? my, my character my character points over to you and says, "Yeah, you know the one." Uh, Lauren like looks up from his journal that he's been reading. He's like, "Huh? What?" The, the, the professor that would eat Necronomicons with the jalapeno. Oh, never mind. Do I know? <laughs> Do you? I don't know. Do I? Roll a history check. <laughs> a twenty. Yeah, you do. Oh, I just oh yeah, 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 that, that. Perf that guy, that guy. Yeah, I know who he is. It's, not that. it's like from the College of Ashen, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> and, then he, um, and then he probably wait, makes wait. Like a popping noise with his mouth. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You talking about Professor Ashley Williams? <sighs> the man with the ne Necronomicon? Yeah. The man who one. ate Necronomicons. With hollow penny and dip. Then killed Deadites with a shotgun. That killed what? What? He's making a reference. Um. So the king gets up, grabs the book, hands it back to Axel, and says, Archie, some of these things just don't make sense. And I think we should leave it to them. And yeah, Archie I mean... Huffs I mean, and goes back to his Have you met team. Arnold? Arnold makes no sense, yet it's still awesome. Some things you just have to accept. It's true. You just have six delusional adventures in front of you. <laughs> Literally! I'll kill you. Damn, Damn uh, I gave you a compliment! Uh, so, uh, uh, Archie then fiddles with the key a little bit, and, and he goes, I think we should let them keep it. And the the king and queen whisper between each other a little bit, and after a moment of silence, the king goes, I don't see why not. It would be best with them. I mean... Just in case they find the door, or I don't know, God forbid, God's forbid, uh, the world ends. The world what? Yeah, let's and... not tr let's not try for that, shall no, we? Let's let's trust these lunatics with a bunch of blank books. <laughs> that only you guys can read, which means that you're probably the chosen ones. Or we're just crazy. Or we're literally just out of our fucking mind. Which is also Dang. possible. I don't subscribe to the whole chosen one thing. I'm, I believe more in like the uh, suckered into it philosophy, which is you're only chosen because you happen to be there, or the, because the gods know you will happen to be there. Yeah, that's also fair. Convenient. Four dimensional, yeah. Four dimensional th thinking gets complicated. Anyways, um, the king takes the key from Archie. And hands it to Siegfried. 
Oh. Bad idea. Oh. I mean, it is his god. He's Thank you. It. You're gonna keep this safe. Oh. You're gonna guard it with your life. And if you happen to lose this, I will do way worse than what she will do to you. Sounds about right. You're for fun and games. I don't even know why I agreed to this. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. Oh. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, is there any questions that you have for them? Uh, me specifically, or...? Anybody. Hey, do you have an alchemy lab I can use for a little bit before we go on our next adventure? Uh, yeah, sure. Who can use the dungeon one? Why would you... Well, yeah, of course you put it in a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you put it in a dungeon? It's the most secure and it's just in case of an explosion. Yeah, it's a matter of semantics though. I personally prefer like under the word undercroft or basement or lair or um vault. Alright, you can use the vault very... one. <laughs> dungeon just has a very Did you wait, did you seriously right? use the wait, 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 did you seriously use the word undercroft in an actual sentence? So I did. Oh. What of it? Okay, alright. <laughs> Just because you're simple brain doesn't mean fucking, fucking Paul has to be too. Alright, Paul, your majesty. Fuck <laughs> off, you bitch. Fuck <laughs> off, you cunt. Fuck off. Your grace. Fuck off, your grace. Alright. Uh, any other questions? Before we promptly kick you out, so that way we can have, I don't know, a real meeting? Your real secret meeting? Yes, of course. <laughs> a, a Lauren Lake walks away and then, like, sarcastically bows as he walks out the door. <laughs> I'll slide the... Oh, I'm gonna use a sleight of hand. So that only he sees it. But... I want to slide the lizard man a Twinkie, but I got all the nine. A Twinkie? Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 that's the only thing I in my inventory. And I thought that I forgot I had the infinite out chocolate cereal box. Yeah, I'm sliding the lizard man a Twinkie. Oh, uh, he takes it and, uh, like nods in it in a uh, think. This is that one when they expired? But it doesn't open his eyes. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't open his eyes. I'd turn out my passive perception is sixteen. Yeah, you see, you see it. Like almost everybody sees it. <laughs> uh, everybody that wants to see it sees it. I don't care enough to see it. Well, it doesn't matter. You see it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <clears throat> he died. No. <sighs> My thing fucked up. Um, so you guys essentially are given a whole day to roam around Kalani to either prepare yourselves or, uh, look for materials. Uh, Kalani is the, you know, the cap the trade capital of the world. Also the capital um, of the country. Also the capital of the country. Um, so I mean, anything that you could, are you looking for, you could probably find it here. A voice whispers into uh, a kitty's head, and it says, uh, Arnold, shield, that's it. 
Uh-huh. Arnold wants shield. Arnold wants shield? Okay, let's go to the blacksmith. We'll get you stuff so you can- we'll either buy you a new shield, or we can get you stuff to make you a shield. <laughs> Arnold is exactly <laughs> like a baby that needs to be put to- <laughs> He'll learn crabs and puts them on his shoulders and they start heading towards the blacksmith. <laughs> oh my god. I also gonna go uh, to the blacksmith so I can upgrade my tools, upgrade my equipment. Anybody else for the blacksmith? Um. Mm. Nah. Yeah, I'll go to the blacksmith. Weird yeah. choice, but okay. Are them? <laughs> Actually, no. no. I, I, no. Do you, add a, do you think a place would have this item? Or would that be something that maybe Archimedes would have? It's like a vase. Yes, oh. I said vase. Just like Paul would. Nah, I say face. So, it's a pouring receptacle full of of wine. Uh, that's something that Archimedes would have, but he's not available right now. Uh, you could definitely look at a shop to see if they would have it, but the only problem is uh, the likelihood of finding it is very hard. It'd probably take you a day alone looking. Um... And I mean, you guys do, you guys do get a chance to see Wiz before you leave the capital. I will say that. To see who? The Wiz. The uh, Wiz. The yeah. Wiz. The Wiz. Uh, uh, I actually know what I would want from him is the thing. Um, so, let's see. For all the people that go to the blacksmith. Uh, you get there, and it's a different set of twin dwarf brothers. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Surprise. Lauren's like, um, this little guy is looking to get himself a new shield or like some uh, materials to make himself a shield or something like that. Uh, one of the brothers looks at Arnold and goes, You want a big show or a small show, little man? I don't think Hunter can reply right now. I mean, I'm just gonna assume he's gonna want a big shield. Reasonably. So, um,. Let's 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 take a look at what we got. Is stock item equipment? <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. I think it's because one just went by and shook the whole house. Well, there is 
a regular shield, um, which is about 10 gold, or we could do a arrow catching shield for about 22 gold. Um, or we could sell the materials for a shield. Uh, or oh shit! Did I save that website? Did you? I did. Oh shit! Um, how do you? Iron is one silver piece. Or, what did we say? Cubic inch? <sighs> yeah, I think it was something like that. Yeah, we were doing cubic inch. Um. Or you could do steel or There's cold iron, which gives an extra one AC for four silver pieces per square. Yeah, this is going to be hard without Connor here. Yeah. I'll properly here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, who else was there? Bren? Me. Yeah. Bren, what did you want to do while you were there? I wanted to see if they could upgrade some of my equipment and weapons to the best of their capabilities. So, um, plus one or higher, if possible. What exactly do you have? Let's take a look. So at least one dagger and then the rapier. Hmm. So the rapier. Uh, you can get you can either get it plus one here. Um. Or. Twelve gold, or you can get it enchanted at a enchanter somewhere in town. And what is stopping me from doing both? Nothing really. <laughs> um, just know that if you get it. Um, upgrade it to plus one. Or I guess, I guess the thing is, um, you can only really do one or the other. Um, because the sharpness of the weapon, uh, so like a plus two rapier. Uh, would be the same tier as like a giant slayer, slayer rapier. So it'd be like the same damage and everything. I guess I'll just have it forged to the plus two if I can. Be forged. So that would be. I have to math. Hold on. So you want a plus two? Yeah. That'd be 36 gold. Okay. And then can I get one dagger to plus two as well? Or at least plus, yeah, plus two. Uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and add 
this rapier and take away this rapier and then one of your daggers yeah to a plus two dagger yeah so that would be uh 33 gold so in total it's like 67 gold was it because the rapier was 36, right? And the dagger is 33, so that'd be 69. 69. Hey! That will be all. Do you think that any of the blacksmiths would be <laughs> technologically advanced to have this item available for purchase? Um, you could probably, yeah, there would probably be a, uh, a gnome shop somewhere that, that would have this. I would, I would gladly like to search for that. Because it'd be nice to be able to do damage when I'm out of spell slots. Yeah, mm. let me look to see how much. It can't be enchanted. It would be 75 gold. All right. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Is this a... It's a... It's like a, it's like around your wrist, so it would probably go around oh, the wrist. Oh, of so, the is it yeah, long? it's it's 80 gold. All right. Well, I will gladly seek that out and purchase it. Do you want me to add it to your sheet, or do you got it? I got it. Um. Have you had any uh anything on high iron recently? On what? In high iron recently? Well, he had that fish. I had the fish, if that counts. No, it was three, three and three and a half days ago. Oh, that was a while ago then, yeah. Other than regular meat. Mm-hmm. Which it is... was a bunch of pastries. <laughs> Does not count. <laughs> Oh uh, yes, this lead infused pastry. Mmm, delicious. Blood pastry. <laughs> um, I would recommend going to the blacksmith then. Okay. Eating uh, is iron. everyone else done? Because I was just gonna wait. I'm going last because I'm doing potions. Uh, too bad you couldn't, you know, talk to an alchemy about getting some sort of supplement vitamins or something. Oh, that reminds me, I should take my daily vitamins. I do that with spooky um, stuff. I mean, he probably could with the. Uh... I already have my Flintstone gummies today. Um, if we talk to that person, but um, Penny. Yes. Uh, I'd like to try and upgrade my bow to plus two if I could. Or at least I I need to go to I want to go to an enchanter for it because it's magical property. Uh, as well as I'd like to try and see if I can't get my hands on some better armor by chance. So you want to go ahead and enchant your bow to plus two. You don't want to get a special property on it, like the I vicious don't... longbow or anything. I don't like the Vicious Longbow, and I don't have access to a whole lot of other magical bows, so I don't know what I want. I need to look into it more. So we already have a plus one, so I'm going to go ahead and 
So that's 15 gold. Okay. Give me just a minute. Take the plus one bow out of your inventory and plus two. Okay. And how much gold did you say it was? Fifteen? Yes. Bless you. Remove. Now we have a plus eleven to hit. That's a Damn. Damn. Uh, and I have plus nine damage whenever I do hit. <laughs> so at the very least, I'll be doing ten damage whenever I land a shot. It's just too bad that you're so squishy. How so? Hmm. Yes, he's only sixteen. Yeah. Hmm. And that's why he stays behind everybody else. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole thing. Higher than mine. Barely. I, I have a higher dex than you, I think. So. I like one, I think. Yeah. Uh, I just realized what I want to try and get, but I'm going to be too busy making potions. Um. Adam? Hmm. I should go to Blacksmith. Um, I guess technically you could go to an Alchemist. Uh, Paul is right. You could go to an Alchemist to get, like, iron supplements. Hmm. Mm, what is a better use of, uh... Money? Money, I guess, yeah. Um, well, you could either try eating iron shavings mixed with, uh, vodka, or, um, you could, uh, take the iron pills. They're probably about gonna cost the same. Mm. You know, unless you had someone make them for you or something. Yeah. Yeah. Which probably means that you would need the iron shavings, right? At least. If I wanted someone to make it for me. I'm trying to think if there's any uh, herbal... I'll, I'll just flat out ask you, Adam. Adam, is your character going to ask my character about iron stuff? Uh, he knows you can make potions. Yeah. So, uh, I guess so. Because, because, because if you do, I might have found a way to have my cake and eat it too. Oh no. Yeah, he will. Fuck it. Uh oh. But add is concerned, then that's what I'm concerned of. <laughs> yes, I will make them for you in addition to what else I am making, if you will do a task for me. Uh, well, I asked what, what task. The task is, while I'm busy in the lab managing all these things, can you take some of my money and buy me better armor? Uh... Sure. <laughs> right now, he's dude, confused. Have... Right now, I only have light leather armor. You get me the supplies, and go in town and find me better armor, and I'll make them for you. Okay. He's gonna come back with a bunch of armor that's the wrong size. <laughs> he is. Now you are very just a bunch of gauntlets. Cool. Here, I'm, I'm gonna take off my old armor. Here's my old armor, so you know what size I am and that I wear light <laughs> armor. And so you can sell it for money. Uh, 
here is how much gold do you think you'll need? About a hundred. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Here's a hundred gold. Uh, I bet I can get from the blacksmith here in the castle the iron we need. Yes. Okay. Nessa, that sounds, yes. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah. All, All right. right. Cool. All right. I have something actually. Here, I'm, I'm gonna give you a hundred gold for my inventory and take a hundred gold out of my inventory. Mm, one hundred gold. Mana, mana, mana. Hey, hey. Cool. I just That's in a hundred gold, right? Yes, it is a hundred gold pieces. Okay. After all this armor talk, I thought that made me think of. Can I get the blacksmith here to put iron studs or something into my armor, leather armor? Make a stud of leather armor? How long does it take for Connor to get home? Because I know he's off at 6 30. Maybe there's traffic. A little son of a bitch. And assuming he actually gets off at 6 30 and they don't keep oh, you know, so he That's currently what's happening. I am um, currently mopping a floor. Because oh. we had people up until six thirty, coming yeah. trying to come in, and I had to tell a bunch of people no. But I still haven't barely been able to finish closing. I'm just finishing now, but I'm mopping. Sorry. I'm sorry. So I can't really talk because I'm trying to. Yeah, you better mop up now. that attitude. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna mop up your mother. Pussy. So After I'm done. Just um, mop it up that floor. Mop yes. Up the there is a <laughs> studded leather armor, which has a uh, like little. So for the sake of role playing, I'm leaving picking of my armor entirely legitimately up to Adam because I am not involved in this at all. Okay. <laughs> that um, seems like a terrible idea. So uh, this is made from uh, tough, flexible leather, um, with it's reinforced with um, close set rivets and spikes. I'm going to go take it to an enchanter afterwards myself. That's why I was asking if they just okay. upgrade my current one. So, um, this studded leather armor is 45 gold. Um, okay. If you want to sell your current leather armor, it's worth 8 gold. So, in total, I'd be paying 8 gold for a trade-in, or... Like, my arm current armor reduce the price by 8. Uh, reduce the price by 8. So, your current leather armor is worth 8 because it's worn. Um, and the set of leather armor is worth 45 gold, so. Alright, so I'll just trade it in it. then. Okay. Do you want me to, I'll just remove that and add. Uh, and then you want to get it enchanted? Yeah. With what? Can I get plus one dex to that enchant? enchant? Uh... I need to fix my pen. Do you guys hmm. have any tips? God damn it. I heard that, Dex. I hate you. No, but I can give it a regular plus one. That'll work. Yes. Um. Hold on. So that's twenty-two. Uh, twenty-three gold. So it's by thirty-seven for the armor, and then twenty-two for the enchant. That is all for that. Um. So, Adam. Mm. What kind of armor are you going to get your friend? Uh. What Big do you armor. say again? What What was the armor he said again? 
What was the armor he said? Hmm. You roll for light armor. armor. Light I armor. I think you should actually light. roll for his three. He should really I what? Should. I mean, you <laughs> have you my old armor. So that size. That size. It, it would but genuinely be within his character to have to roll for his three to remember. Yeah, it would be. Would right. it? What armor are you holding, Adam? The light armor. I, I don't have it in my inventory right you now. You are holding leather armor. <laughs> leather light armor. Leather light armor. With yes. AC of 11. I like to imagine, like, Siegfried just sitting there holding leather armor with, like, his conscience on his shoulder telling him this information. <laughs> like, walking him through it. <laughs> okay. Where do you need to go? The blacksmith. Okay, so you go to the blacksmith, and you're yeah. holding this armor. Yeah. And then... Obviously, I need to get the the iron stuff. And then... The Plate armor. mail. Oh, the I armor first. The... Armor <laughs> first, okay. I told you I was getting the iron from the blacksmith. Oh. In the castle. Oh, okay, then never mind. Because he's got to have lots of cavings and things I can just, you know. Oh, yeah, plenty. So, for free, because we're heroes, right? Sure. So, funded right. by the kingdom, trademark. It's shavings, too. What else are you going to do with shavings? Uh, do you oh, want no. other leather armor? Better leather armor. Leather light armor. Light leather armor. White armor? What about medium or uh... no? Must be light. <laughs> Must be light. Like... Light leather armor. That's what he said. <laughs> this is this is sick free talk. That's what he said. The, the guy's devils. trying to upsell you to buy. Yeah. No. <laughs> Must be light. <laughs> Must be white. Light. Yes. And you leather. Yes, some, some pretty white shiny armors here. Uh, do you want? This glamour studded armor? Is is it light? Yeah. Is it leather? Yeah. Yes, I'll take it. Um that'll be uh eighty gold. Okay, I take it. <laughs> oh, no. I know what you're doing here. I I saw that piece I was looking up. <laughs> it's I'm... gonna be with just glamour armor with no AC. <laughs> I'm a, I I I hand him the other armor. Uh, that's uh eight gold that I give you. <laughs> so okay. you you get eight gold. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that. Is. Hey, he got what he asked for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My character is going to be super disappointed, but IRL, I'm just like, this is awesome. This is just, this is what d and is oh, about. Oh shit, stupid shit. Did like I do that this. by accident? I'd click on. Divination. <laughs> 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 Alright, all right. I'm going to turn my mouse off now before I sit on it again. Ah, <laughs> uh, alright. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want, Siegfried? You're gonna take this armor. It's in a box. Uh, and he even gift wrapped it for you. So, uh, is there any swords being shown off? There's a few, yeah. Question: Am I able to eat through iron? He's asking if he's a if he's an iron dragon slayer. No. No. You can you can <laughs> you cannot eat iron like with your teeth, but you can digest iron. What well, like, if I melted the sword and then just ate that? What the fuck? <laughs> That's a lot of fire damage then. The that 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 that, that sounds like heartburn. <laughs> Sounds like a lot more than just fucking heartburn. I'm asking. 
I, you, didn't, you, you didn't answer me. Isn't iron no, softened uh, at like a thousand degrees? Yeah, it would kill you probably. Okay, so then never mind. Uh. No, so nothing else. No, oh, okay. So you go back to the castle where oh. uh, your friend the alchemist is and you hand him this beautifully wrapped box. He comes down to me in the dungeon where I'm working. I'm like, put it there in the corner. I'm busy. I'll look at it later. Hey, was there any gold left over? How much gold did you give me? A hundred. Uh, yes, but I don't remember. How much was the thing, and how much did you sell my old armor for? Uh, it was 80. And I sold your old armor for 8? Question marks? That... <laughs> <sighs> yeah, something like that. Please give me the 28. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna op I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna open the box and see what he got me because now I'm like that ah, was maybe not the best idea. It looks like regular studded leather armor. Is it any better than what I had? Refresh your page. <laughs> And it does have better AC. I did good. Did did I do good? Oh. Yes. Yes, this is perfect. This is perfect. Oh yeah. This is perfect. I wouldn't have even thought to look for something like this. Wouldn't have thought to do enchanted. Good job. Uh, your potions are still brewing. It's the essence. Iron can be stubborn. That's part of the appeal of using it for some things. But not to worry. I certainly have those rubies to help uh, get it free. So I uh, should have them ready by later tonight. Thank you. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That is that is perfect. <laughs> awesome. I was expecting uh, to, be, to open the box and find a uh, not that you know. No, it's definitely that. Uh, it's just it's not worth eighty gold. <laughs> uh, how much is it worth? Um, probably like forty. Eh. Like, my character's super worried about money. Not not because he has a lot of money, but because he has kind of other priorities. And he's got his food, he's got his needs covered. I thought it's like, you're gonna have something to trigger it, and then it would be not that, you know? <laughs> Don't give her ideas, but too late now. I think that would've been funny. Um... <laughs> Open the box and see a, a stack of plate mail. Um, all right. Is that everyone? <clears throat> Except for Arnold. I feel like with this, I know what I have to do because I haven't fully leveled up yet. I was debating looking through the feats or doing uh, score increase. Now I think I have to do a charisma score increase. I absolutely do. Yeah. Um... Vice, did you yes. want to wander around the entire town looking for the item or the thing or no? You, you know what? Fuck it. Them. Why not? So you not got like it. I'm doing anything else. You got your crossbow thing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you decided to have a wild night on the town 
looking for this item until the shops close. Which is about dark. Okay. Which is about now. Uh, it's now it nighttime. It's dark outside. It is dark outside. Uh, you know what? For Connor's character, I'm just going to assume he got what he wanted. Uh, we'll Forgot figure it out. Details later. later. Yeah. Yep. For the sake uh, of Connor. Huh? For the sake of Connor not being able to leave work. Yeah, that's, that's stupid. We've all been there. Yeah. Multiple yeah. Times. I haven't been there. I just fucking leave. I will tell people that I am leaving and they need to leave too. I ain't sticking up for that shit. My boss would kill me. If I did that. Anyways. Uh... I mean, I don't know that Bob would kill you, but he'd be very disappointed. Sounds like a lot of work. Anyways. Um... So it is nighttime. Um, you, you guys could either convene back. Um, the palace, uh, is closed. Um, you guys can't sleep there, but you can go sleep back at the uh, uh, temple of Ondor and Corellan. I'm going back to that bar. Did I find anything? No. Yeah. Ooh, you know what? That's great. That set does sound good, going back to that bar. I'm going straight wonder, there. I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding everyone people. else. I want to go to that bar where I met that, that, where I went that first time, that first night. The CD dot? The, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, and I want to do the same thing again. <laughs> Uh, who is joining them? No one? Um, I will join them. I'll join them. Disappointed. And be disappointed? Is that what you no, said? I will join them being very disappointed that I did not find that I was Had no oh, nice. Poor boy. Well, Poor baby just, boy. You guys just see a very sad vice following you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Upon seeing a certain you know who walk in, I'm gonna make sure my drink is well covered and kept to myself. <laughs> uh as you walk in, uh the owner once again gives you a hearty slap on the back and says, I never thought you'd come back. One place that serves good shit around this town. You know it's the best. You no, know it's the um, best when everybody else is dead. Well, no one's dying here tonight. God forbid. Just give him the sick. dirtiest of looks. <laughs> uh, I assume all the drinks are on you, Bren. Oh, hell no. I'm not paying for their shit. <laughs> oh, what a charmer. Uh, she She sits down and basically is like, come sit with me again and we will talk. Hello? Oh? Hello? Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Yeah? Okay, that was weird. And... Talk about... Um... And I'm gonna avoid talking about all this shit that fucking happened the past few days, so... Oh, <laughs> that's the thing that she wants to talk about. I'm going to deliberately <laughs> avoid it. Because that shit is government secret. Yeah, that's that's fair. It's um, secret. Uh, so who else was joining them? Uh, Vice. Me. Uh, the 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 same girl that served you the first time. Um, gave you the same thing that you asked for last time, and then runs away. Because she's scared of you. <coughs> um, and then Axel. And... Lauren. Yes? There is a gambling table, once again. But the the chick that you were with last time is not there. 
Truly unfortunate. Truly. She was rather amusing. Mm, that's really the biggest reason I chose to come back. Uh, it is still early in the night. She might appear later. Mm, okay. I'm up for a bout of gambling. How about you? Goodness knows my funds are low. But, uh, let, let, let me go get us some drinks. Uh, I'll, I'll get my own. I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone before you can object. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, let's just hope you roll high enough. Um, so you get some drinks. Um, it's for the two drink. You know what? I'll just do for the whole night for every one. You each spend a gold on drinks. How about that? Wow. Sounds fair. I'm Sounds gonna fair. assume that you guys are gonna drink until you pass out. Aloran is not a till I pass after, out, but till after I'm after what happened back in uh Helen. Not till I pass we out, were, considering certain someone's uh, around. He's he's good for a little while. He'll <laughs> drink some, but not 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 like he did that night. <laughs> Not till I okay. pass out, but so she was turning yeah. someone around. You you get the less strong stuff. They do offer other things other than just beer and wine and ale. They do offer like juices and stuff and actual food. So, um, well, a gold to give you food and drink for the whole night. Want some so giant good. toes? Toast? Fri fried giant toes? They're not actual giant toes. They're they're fried. Uh... Uh, I think chicken, maybe pork, but they call them fried giant toes. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Adam, did you go with them this time? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, everyone went. Um. It's a party outing. You have never been here before. So this is new and exciting for you. I'll just say that. Um, so are you guys going to make your own table, or are you going to join a table? I'll join a table. Yeah. I, I bring a Lauren his drink. <laughs> Lauren looks at it very, very oh suspiciously. Holy fuck. I'm off work. Yay. Oh my good fucking nah, god, dude. Later. I'm sorry, man. Oh, now I'm gonna drive around Moses Lake. Man, I'm really sad. You should just, you know, move here to Moscow. I mean, rent here is three fifty a month if you room with me. Is it? Is it me? Well, I got, some I got some opportunities and other stuff going right now, and I'm trying to explore that. Good. Three month. That's pretty good. Jesus. And I'm, it's probably my connection's really bad right now. Uh, do you want us to wait for you, Um, no. Continue, guys. What you're doing? I'm I'm still 20 minutes out from being home. Oh wow! Because I have to drive around Moses Lake. I got to go to the bank to drop off the bank slip and deposit for the night. Then I got to go to the other Sherman Williams and drop off a stain match. And then I got to go. Then I can go home. Dude. Rip indeed. Man, your shit sucks, bro. I have so much garbage I gotta do every fucking day. And uh, I didn't get paid the big bucks. Rip. Uh. So, um, you guys join a table. Um, and they are playing poker. Poker face. Pa 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 poker face pa poker face. That's the buy in. Um they're not doing anything too serious, just like two silver. Okay, good, because I can do that. That's fine. I know I know my limit for gambling tonight. <laughs> Mostly because I 
I, I I trusted someone who people unfairly take advantage of, so... Well, you don't know that it was unfair. I'm a merchant, I know. Well, that's fair. Um... I don't really care too much other than that I've got to be a bit more careful. But, I mean, that's normal for life. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so we are going to play my favorite game of high low. With a d6. Ready? Okay. Let's do this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Um, let's see, who's going to be the deciding factor? How about Brad? Oh, sure. I see her. Um, high or low? High. Everybody roll. Wow. Axel. Uh, you win. You win a gold. What? Woo. That, wow. That's five people. Um, two silver each. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I had a feeling and, someone was going to roll a uh, six. A Lauren, you lose two silver. That's fine. I'm not broke ass bitch. You're my bitch, though. You're my broke ass bitch, Kenny. Am I now? Um, alright. High or low? Low. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Lauren. Uh, sorry. Give me a moment. My computer's acting up. Here we go. Well. I think I might have won. You definitely win. So you earn one gold, and Axel, you lose two silver. Yep, already got it. Dang. All right, again, higher low. Oh. Oh, where'd that go? I think I might have won again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know oh. about that. It's a tie. It is a tie. So the both of you roll again to see who is luckier. Uh. Ooh. Well, obviously Axel won with that royal flush. Wow. Impressive. Uh, so Axel, you <laughs> win <laughs> a gold <laughs> and a Lauren, you lose two silver. Perception check, perception check, perception check. It's you, it's you, it's you. Um, do you guys still want to continue? I don't yeah. care. We can. Uh, hi or low? Hi. Aww. Damn it. Axel won again. Damn. He's cheating. Check it. <laughs> the only, the only person here that could be cheating is me. <laughs> hey, I, I could totally... Oh, yeah, because you're not... That was accidental. You don't understand. He might have super sleight of hand. He's scamming you. Actually, I do have super sleight of hand, but I'm not using it for this. Just That's like not I'm not like using, it. just like how I'm not using prestidigitation. There's, there's, there's honor amongst comrades. We don't cheat when playing against each other. <laughs> I didn't learn sleight of hand to cheat at poker. Uh, high or low? Hi. Wow. Wow. I guess Axel wins again because I rolled another one. Another goal for the man. Uh, I'm not winning like at all. My my guys suck. Uh, a lot of them are. 
I'm like, man, this is dumb. We're, we're stuck at this. This is gonna be our last round. So one more and then and then the the three others are gonna are gonna just go to the bar. Uh hi low. Low. Come on, dude. <laughs> it's I knew it. Oh, it, it, was it was low. It was low. So. Oh it was low. Okay, good. One of the guys won. Yay! Uh, so you both lose two silver. And that that guy is the lucky winner, and he says, "I won on a happy note." Woo! And uh, they get up and they go to the bar and they start drinking and laughing and cheering. And more people are now in the bar, and it's a little bit more livelier. Well, a lot bit more livelier. There's now a bard in the bar that is playing music and singing. I just had your guys. wife. Let me go get some food. I'll be right back, I say to Lauren, and I get up. A bar ard? A bar ard. Because a bar ard. What were you trying to do? That thing. Because whatever it was, everyone saw. Literally like, everyone saw it. He was not good at seducing that person. <laughs> Literally everyone saw it. Holy shit. You rolled a one anyway. Uh, Literally everyone saw it anyway. Uh, including the, 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 the goblin that wasn't even here, he saw it. Cool. That's it, bro. God damn. God damn. Alright. Um. Do a. Let's see, Aloran and Ask to do a perception check for me, please. Just a moment. Wait, what the fuck? My manager's still here. What? Oh, not 20. I'll be back. I'll be back. Damn, did you both get mm. at 20s? Okay, no. Um, well, the both of you notice that... All up. Uh, uh. All up. I have to look again. Something. <coughs> um. That you saw the woman from before. Oh, sweet. Let's see. What was her name? Do you guys remember what her name was? Uh, was it's in the bottom. Like, like uh, Jasmine? Jasmine? Yeah. That sounds about right. Correct. Sweet. Um, so you see Jasmine walk in. Is yes, Jasmine. <laughs> uh, she waves at you guys, waves at the owner, um, and uh, one of the the girls brings her a uh, martini, and she walks over to you guys and she says, "Well, hello, gentlemen. I didn't expect to see you guys so back back so soon." Well. You know. Mm, what's that? Uh, just a hunch. We took care of what we had to quite quickly. Well, part of it. Enough of it to come back for drinks. Exactly. Drink? And maybe a little gambling. I still have a little bit left in my budget. You just made like four <laughs> gold. It's not just about winning, but also losing. My budget is not for how much I win, but how much I lose. Or we could go ahead and do the questions again. That was fun. That was fun. That is me. 
I think I would rather not do that one. Aw, why not? Have That's something to hide now, fun. Axel? I mean, given the nature of our recent adventures, there's some things I'd rather not share. Oh, uh, that's a fair well, point. Fine, I won't ask about where you were recently. All right. Well, what do you say? I'm down for it. Sure, but why don't you get yourself a drink first? And I'll offer, I'll offer to have her. Yeah. Another. She got a martini. She, that's right. She, hang on. Out of character. I brain farted on that and forgot. So my that's character. Cool. I'm gonna say my character. And she's like, all right. I guess we seem to all have our drinks here. Can you hold my glass? Uh, Laura, Laura looks at his very nervously. <laughs> I'm gonna hold my glass up and then we're like waiting for someone to put it up to cheer. <laughs> no. Mm. Oh. Uh, she, she daintily, like, lifts hers a little bit and then sips it. Aloran, Aloran is like, he, he, he very, he looks you dead in the eye and he's like, I am trusting you with my entire life right now. He brings it up to do a cheers with you and takes a good chug of your, of the drink. <laughs> I can't vouch for whoever made it, but I promise you that it is as it came from the tap. Better, it better. <laughs> you know you have to tell me, right? People tell us. Tell you what? Did you read the message I sent you? Did you actually fucking spike it? Or not spike it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he needs to read the message. Ah. Uh. Okay. Um. Because apparently now I have to clarify whether I do or don't do something. You never know. You never know. This is true. Um. So, um. <laughs> she, she gets out a deck of cards. Um, and she says, why don't we play with my cards? Aloran looks at them very suspiciously. Can Why I don't roll you... Arcana? Can I roll Arcana to see if there's anything <laughs> magical about them? Yes, you can. <laughs> she gives them to you, and she says, look, "Take a look. They're really yes, pretty. Me. There's nothing magical about them. They're there's just custom made." I okay. just want to do a. Can I roll? Arcana. Can I roll history to see if there's any like significance <laughs> about them? Uh, sure, and yes. Um, Axel, um, that magical present from last time is there again, but you can't pinpoint it. Uh, Aloran, the cards, um, they're regular playing cards, except, um, each of the cards has, like, um, a almost like space feature to them so like stars moon sun and things like that okay. um but clearly they don't have trapped souls in them trapped galaxies maybe which could contain souls but not individual souls that's good that's good also terrifying if it is legitimately a trapped galaxy <laughs> that would be a little bit yeah i would be terrified as well um. Uh, shall we play another round of high low? And uh, would anybody like to in? Uh, would anybody like to uh, join in? No one. No. No. <laughs> Everyone else is in their own corner of the bar doing their own stuff. What is Siegfried doing? Uh, they got food, right? Yeah. Eating different kinds of food. Oh, god damn. How much money do you have? He's probably spent more than a gold at this point. Yeah, I'll minus another gold. I'll, you know, I'll minus two gold. 
I thought it's like trying one of everything. That is his life to try everything. Uh, drinking one of everything, eating one of everything. Yep. You know, there's more to life than just eating and drinking, right? Adventure, but we're not adventuring right now. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, eating and yeah. drinking. Uh, yeah. Fair enough. Fair I know enough. you're. I know what you were going with there. I'm not going to say anything more. Um. All right, Bren, would you please do the honors? Also, lots of foods you can serve or slot or suck, low. You know. Low. Low. Fifty before uh, you see it anymore. Yeah. Low. And D six. Aha, I won. I got a one. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. My first question to you guys is Huh? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I would like to make an amendment to this game if you're amenable. Uh, and that is the winner cuz before it was you ask each of us a question that we answer or one of us asks you a question, but how about Instead, if one of us wins, we ask you a question and the same question to our cohort here. That's what we did last time. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 You ask the other two. Uh, if you win, you get to ask the other two a question. Uh, I thought for for some reason I was thinking it was not that way last time. Never mind. Um. Have you ever thought about getting married? Perhaps one day, but there's some things I have to take care of before that's an option. I mean, in passing, but not any serious consideration. It might happen someday. Might not. Love is a rather fickle thing. For an adventurer such as myself, it's just simply not viable at the moment. Yes, an adventurer's life is fickle. Yes, and, uh, you know, family. Yeah, family. There. Again. Hi. Oh, fuck. I'll just do the opposite. How, I'm just going to do the opposite of whatever um, Lauren does. <laughs> uh, the opposite of what I do? <laughs> yeah, if you call high, I'll call low. Or wait, hang on, I thought we were doing this. I think I'm confused. No, you, yeah. you're doing it right. You're doing it right. Um, because you won, Axel. Cool. <laughs> what is the most exotic fruit you have ever eaten? What you would consider exotic. Uh... Well, I've been all over the different continents, and there's this peculiar fruit in the land of the dwarves and infernals. What's the name of that place again? Um. Dayren. Dayren. There was a peculiar fruit there that had the most interesting, bitter yet sweet taste. It was, uh, pleasant yet unpleasant. Hmm. Sounds like a dragon. I was just gonna see. I know, I know not what it was called. Mm. I was a little bit drunk whenever I tried it. <laughs> My favorite is the um the let's see. I think they are a type of star fruit that grows in Layla. They're really big almost as big as your head and they they're sweet like a watermelon but not watery like a watermelon a lord would know what she's talking about uh she grew up in Layla. it's the it's the uh it's a type of star fruit it's I know exactly. not star fruit exactly but star I know fruit exactly super size super star star fruit super size star fruit Oh yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. I grew up in Layla. I remember eating that as a child. 
Hmm. I, I spent a lot fruits. of time in Layla. It's so sweet and delicious. I love sweet things. Again. Hi. Again. Again. Ah. Hi. Oh. Damn it. Ha! <laughs> ah, I won. You rolled a three. Um. But have you ever met any royalty? Well, uh, perhaps. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we have. Oh, that's really cool. Eh, I'm not one for royalty and all that shebang. I've always I mean, wanted to meet a king. They're surely the, not as great time, as people. At the try time, to make him he was a prince, but I suppose he counts as royalty, yes. <laughs> What? <laughs> are we talking about Tabane? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, are we talk are we're not talking, talking about recent history. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. I was just confused as to what you were talking about. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a backstory thing. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Low. Uh, Damn. A Lauren wins. Oh, lovely. Um, favorite meal. Oh. Hmm. Cookies and milk. I feel like that's a snack, not a meal. Ah. I'm thinking what my character would like. Cake. Uh, Meal, that's, not dessert. That's, Aw, that's man. A... That's not fun. Yeah. Where was this curry my mother would make using ice turnips? That was quite delicious. Curry is alright, I guess. Is this sushi is pretty have... good. You know what? Fair enough. I love sushi. I don't even know that I love it the, for the taste. I love it for the nostalgia and for the okay. simpler times. I understand that. My mother yeah. used to make the most amazing chicken and dumplings, or bird and dumplings in general. I one time met this guy that would eat raw fish, just straight up fish. Yeah? It rings a bell, but I can't quite place it. I can't I don't remember the dream or if I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it was a while ago. Yeah. I'm mean, a new member of our party, really. Fish. Yeah. Sure does. I wonder if they're related. <laughs> hey, Siegfried! I'm gonna wave him over. Oh, God. <laughs> fucking, fucking hell. <laughs> Alor, Alor, like, rolls his eyes. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> what a face full of food. <laughs> what? What? I'm eating here. I'm eating here. Hey, I'm eating here. I'm eating here. <laughs> I'm going to look at his face full of food and go, eh, maybe not. <laughs> Alorn just sighs. Was that your friend? Yeah, yes. Siegfried. Does, does friend he eat that... fish raw? Like whole? I oh yeah, that know. wasn't him. I, no, I don't... I don't think so. I know he went fishing and liked fish, but I don't think he eats them raw. Hmm. Anyways, again! Hi. Again. Hi. Ah. Uh. Hmm. God damn it, Paul! <laughs> I'm just hitting the button on the computer, okay? I swear. Paul's cheating. Paul's cheating the algorithm. Uh, secret, secret truth time, you guys. Um, 
I am the algorithm. <laughs> I am the algorithm. <laughs> um, wait, so I want who won that time? We didn't you call did. out higher. Oh, I did. Um, hmm. Hmm. What? What is your favorite the time of the year, season-wise? Winter. Oh, that's a hard one. I like all the seasons. I guess fall would be my favorite because that's when the beer harvests, you know, the best beers come out. And, well, I, I love beer. I mean, um, the freshest beers. I don't know about the best. Some of the best have aged over the winter, but... I mean, that's fair, but I like a good fresh beer. Or, fair I mean, enough. there's also... um. Winter, Last which year. has some of the best cakes and pastries, and also some of the best holidays. Oh, Lauren, it's just like, winter is one of the best times of year to hunt. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too fond of winter, especially when winter is all year round when you grew up, but uh, anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, spring, ha or spring and summer have some good festivities. There's always the springtime carnivals and the summer solstice and I mean Ow fuck. There's there was the celebration of hell at Helen. That that was fun, I guess. Oh, you were, were you at there? the celebration in Helen. You know there. Uh I didn't make it this year. Ah. Uh. But I always hear that it's really great. Did you guys go? No, oh. unfortunately not. Aw. Oh, you should go next year. We could go together! That sounds like a lovely time. Assuming we have all this stuff wrapped up by that point. I mean, I feel like one way or other things will be resolved in a year. Let's hope. Uh. Wait, this is recording. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> One more round? One more round. Hi. Again, hi or low. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. Uh, hi. Axel wins again, barely. What? I got a three. You're cheating. It's official. Have any of you ever, ever had an encounter with the divine? <laughs> Believe it or not, yes. Um, with the divine, like, like Ooh. the gods. Uh, I guess in a way you can say I have. That's a little bit suspicious. That's, I mean, I don't know about suspicious, just kind of, uh, I mean, I suppose, maybe, I mean, you have to consider, in a way, she could refer to, like, people who work with the gods could be, you know, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that's enough for me for tonight. I'm gonna go get some sleep. I need to clear my head after uh, working in the alchemy lab. You're welcome, by the way, for when I stay here out with the healing potions. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Axel. Good night, Axel. Well, I guess I should be going too since everyone is, um, I guess, leaving. Yes, I think I will too. We should do this again very yeah. soon. Next time we're here, I'll be sure. Well, actually, is there a means by which I can reach you? Um, not really. I always come here almost every single night. It's my favorite spot. Okay. Well, see you next time we're here then. Sounds good. Bye. Yeah, well. I'm going to follow her out again.
<laughs> Fucking creep. <laughs> Uh, so you follow her out, and uh, she's she's just having a good time. Having a good time, having yeah. a good time. Um, so everyone uh uh leaves. Well, uh, so a uh, Lauren and Axel, you guys leave, and then um. Bren, you leave after Jasmine leaves. Um, and uh, you go ahead and you go to follow her. And you, she takes the same path once again. Down an alleyway. Takes a turn. And as you turn to catch up to her, she is gone. Gone like the wind. But this time, when you turn, you hear a slight giggling. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to the tavern and then ask the tavern lady if she knows anything about her. Oh, Jasmine? She's a sweetheart. She comes in almost every night. You know, once the men start to get rowdy and uh, things get interesting, she knows exactly when to come in. Are you interested in a new lady? No. Not, not like that. I know. Don't flatter myself. I heard the whole bit before. Anyways, she's... An interesting one. Just, no one's ever really seen her around town. No one knows what she does. She just comes in. Doesn't even eat. She gets the same martini every time. Uh, can you give me one of her martinis then? What's so special about these things? Ha. Huh. Come on. It's my homemade martini. What's so special about them? I made them, you dumb shit. Uh, sorry. Give me a little bit more credit than that. I thought we'd known each other long enough. It's been a few years. Yeah, I know. Anyways, I have one of the girls make you up one. They're very sweet, in case you're wondering. Uh, I'll deal with it. <laughs> you don't like sweet, do you? Okay, here and there, but not, not all the time. Well, she loves them. She'll drink four, five, six a night sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how. She talks about candy like, well, she eats it all the time. It's her favorite subject, actually. I'm going to ask her about the area where she disappeared at, see if she knows anything about that district, the town. Um, well, I guess technically that area is owned by the Assassin's Guild. Hmm. Has anyone had answered any strange sightings of people disappearing there? <laughs> Other Absolutely. than the usual. Well, it is a drop-off location. But you should know that better than anybody. Not necessarily my uh, favorite place to go, but uh, sometimes when I have an issue, I just pop on over there with a little note. Rowdy customer gets taken care of. What did you do, babe? Nothing you need to worry about. Did you explode something? Ah, oh, I'll be right back. Oh, he was shooting talking to Adam. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> okay, that was... 
for a minute there, you were a little confused. Wait a minute, I'm not the one with the bombs. Yes. Me? I mean, I suppose I could make them, but they're not my specialty, so I might be a bit disadvantaged at it. The Lord's made explosives before. I mean, I am a chemist, but... Alchemical explosion? Yeah. I can say that it had never happened to you, even if on accident. Oh no, it's happened. It's just my area of expertise is... Uh... Tinctures. Not combustion. It's transmutation. <laughs> One word for it, yeah. Another word would be polymorph. Alteration. A more accurate descriptor of my area of expertise would be uh, biological. Ah. Uh. Scary. Yeah, Dean sure thought so. Alright, I'm I'm back. We're back. What did he explode? Um, my the, bubbly. The container it exploded. Yeah. It's okay. We good. Yep. Great job. Yes. Um, was do you ask something else? No. No. Nothing that. Pay my pay up and then head out. Right. Uh, you feel like you're missing something, but you just shake it off and continue on. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> Got um, hit pocketed. Do I want to roll then... perception for this, or huh? I'm gonna roll perception or something, or. Walk it off. Uh, if you want to roll a history or something, if you like it. <laughs> um, about two blocks away, you remember that Siegfried was sleeping on the bar. <laughs> And uh, keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's food. Brutal. He's he's safe there. It's he'll be fine. <laughs> One of the seediest areas in town. he would be fine. Yep. I mean, is uh, he wrong? Uh, no, actually, he's right. One of the safest places in town, and yet. Nobody wants to go there for some odd reason. Mm -mm. Strange. People are weird. Anybody want uh, a drink? You guys are back at the... Uh, uh... Kiss my ass, Adolf. What? <laughs> Excuse me? So, you guys are back at the... Uh... Church. Sweet. Uh, and... Hi, child. Do you want pets? Siggy. Yes. Siggy. Okay, there you go. Your pets. Yes, mother. You have a pet. You have a paintbrush down there. Uh, the, the does is great. Um. So you guys go back. Other than Siegfried, he is... Basically... Uh, the girls um, put a pillow underneath your head and then a blanket over you. Because you whoa. are too heavy to move. Fat ass. Whoa, whoa. Not that he's fat, it's just that he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Siegfried is very dead. <laughs> <laughs> um... So... In the morning, or is there anything else that you guys need to do tonight? Nope. No, no more. Mm -mm. Get fresh water? Yeah. Uh, in the morning, you wake up with all of your provisions restocked and re... Uh, 
re-upped, essentially. Your canteen's refilled, all of your rations refilled, your cuddly clean, and everything like that. Um, Connor. See, you see, yes, yes. I'm just logging on my PC right now. <laughs> it's been one of those days, huh? You've been one of no those days. Mm -hmm. I'm, about to kill, I'm about to kill a child. Why? As long as they deserved it. No. But you are the child. And for fun. I'm older than you, bitch. Yo, Connor. Huh. We got a lot of apples. I need you to come here and make another pie. I got you, bro. Be there tomorrow. All right. I want to make a pie. Really? Yeah. Well, no, not really. I want a pie. I want a pie. Oh. 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 Hmm. All right. Well, Connor goes back. Guys, we'll wake up. We'll continue your adventure. Woo! Also, adventure. This table tennis meme is bugging me. <laughs> hey. I don't know. It just is. Hello? 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 Here we fucking go. Jesus Christmas. Oh, finally. Alright. Um, Connor, when we are done with D&D, I will give you your shield. Okay. Alright. And can I say, can also someone give me a TLDR and what the fuck happened today? Uh, you watched the pod. Oh. Yeah. Honestly. A lot of us running around one town, then getting to another town and running around there. And then running around to the next town. Basically. Run around, I run and It's around. kind of a utility session where we're getting some more equipment and spending all the money that other people found. All while dragging you around like a two-year-old. Yep. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Fair enough. You're, you're either holding Vice's hand, um, Bren's hand, or uh, Aloran's hand. And sometimes Siegfried's hand. Um, at one point, no. Siegfried did tuck you into bed. I'm gonna fucking no. <laughs> I'm gonna that fucking no. No, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend that that never happened in my brain. No. Uh, you could pretend, <laughs> but it actually the did. The only person, the only person that ever tucked me into bed is Lauren. <laughs> All right. Well, Lauren was a little uh -huh, busy. Lauren <laughs> was a little bit strong. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and uh, when he went to go do it, he kind of got um, vice. Vice can also make it acceptable side substitute. Got a more, side like, more like some crazy bitch pulled him into her room. But yeah, we Yo, all talked right. about it. A lord doesn't God, know what happened. He doesn't want to know what happened. Damn. <laughs> all right. So, hold on. He's Maybe like going with that mentality, that which I do not know cannot bother me. Um, I'm pretty sure if you rolled a high enough history check, you'd figure it out. You want to, though, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's see. What I do <laughs> not know cannot scar me. And these scars I have are imaginary, because I'm only imagining and I don't actually know. Um... Well, uh, your clothes were on in the morning, so uh, that's a good sign. Yep. Very good with that. Um, so in the morning you guys wake up, um, and, uh, your food is there, you guys, all of your stuff is refilled and everything like that. Um, so when you pack up and you go to leave, um, you go through the door and instead of going through the door into the hallway, you go through the door and go into Archie's castle. Sorry, tower. Um, castle. I'm gonna pull from my pack and offer anyone if they want any cocoa, uh, Count Chocula cocoa. 
Uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point at you. Arnold's gonna point at you, and send a private message that says, "Kiss my ass." Spicy I mean, this morning. And I'm, I'm gonna say, I mean, if that's what you're into, but no, get someone else to fill your fantasies, and not me. Thank you very much, little one. Do you want me to put the hammer down? <laughs> No, I'm not really much into the pain side of things. Um, that, was a, that was a Thor reference, if anybody fucking got that. I got it. Yeah, I got no, it. I Thank just you. couldn't remember the specifics fast enough to do you anything with it. Put my hammer down. So, um, you guys enter it, and it looks a lot cleaner. Um, you know, all of his quote unquote wares are like put away in like display cases and stuff like that. Um, the floor is clean, there's no like random stuff everywhere. Um, I'm gonna look around and say, I'm not sure if it's cleaner or the mess hasn't been made yet. <laughs> um, and and from the top of the winding stairs, um. You you hear some footsteps going and you hear some small chit chat, um, and then you see Ander walking down the stairs and then you see Archie. Ander, which one was Ander? That was the human, right? The human council guy. No. No. Um, Ander is the goddess of the sun. Oh shit. Oh. 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 That's right. He had a date with the sun. Sheesh. Yep. She is the uh, goddess of sun and space, and she appears to be an elf. I'm gonna just, you know, look not at them in a way. My boy Archie fucking getting some from a fucking goddess, no less. Wait. Wait, I'm gonna whisper to you guys. Wait. Is 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 she any of you guys' patron deity? Okay, good. <laughs> No. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> um, Dude, that would be like the biggest fucking flex, though. And uh, literally, and he... literally fucking your god. <laughs> and um, you heard Andre say, "Thank you so much, Archie, for catching me up on everything. I'm sure that someone would have told me eventually." And Archie says, "Ah, oh, not a problem, my dear." Now, you have a wonderful morning, and again, if you need anything, let me know. And, uh, she just pats him on the head and then says hello to all of you and goes through the door. Gonna look at Archie and say, so, was the door for her and not for us? Should we just go back out, or...? He says, oh no, I expected you guys to come in, but you woke up a little early. Ving, out on the town all night. Uh, you're missing one. Oh, don't worry. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing two. Oh, wait, I need to count myself. One, two, three, four, five. Six. You're right, we are missing one. Where is. Let's see, who have we got here? We've got the Angry Elf one, we've got the Angry Elf two, we've got Angry Midget. Angry Elf, we... what? Excuse me? <laughs> uh, We've got. And we prefer to be called little magic. people, thank you very much. Right, we've got the little the little mage of deception. We've got me, the, the butt ass trickster. Um you just call me who angry. Am I missing? Mm -hmm. oh my you God. biggers need to leave. <laughs> yeah, you stupid biggers. Yeah. Uh, oh the crazy vampire. That's who we're missing. Does anyone know where Siegfried went? I want to roll charisma to see how smoothly this actually goes over with the with the with the uh, group. Absolutely not. Aww. You know, all of you guys are a bunch of s stupid beggars. Yeah. Except for a Lauren, he's a, he's one of them. He's one of them good beggars. Yeah. And we ain't get much of those. We ain't get much of those. I mean, it's not like you're the shortest person in the party anymore. We're still fucking short enough to call you beggars. Yeah. Who's the racist now? Or heightist? Sounds like bigger talk. Yep. Well, 
Small power. Small power. <laughs> <laughs> I got a yeah, to that. My channel gets taken down. I'm blaming you two. Hey, the uh, uh, actually walks over to uh the curtain that's beneath the winding staircase and pulls it back and he says, "I'll be right back." He goes and pulls it back over and uh. I know what you, I want now. You hear a uh, like a loud bang, and then you you just hear Siegfried going ow 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 ow. While Archie is pulling Siegfried from his ear and opens the curtain and goes, What were you doing sleeping in a bar, young man? Adam, Adam, you need to make the sound. Nessa, reach over and grab him by his ear. No! <laughs> I'm too far away. She can't do it. <laughs> That's too For far. now. For now. For now. Do you want me to put the hammer down? For now. For now. And uh, he lets go of your ear and sits you down and he goes, Now look here. A young gentleman should not be sleeping in bars. But I like bars. They have all sorts of delicious food and drinks. So? There's more to the world than just food and drinks? Like women. Um, men! I would point out, you can get those in bars, too. And even the right clubs. Pish posh. Pish -posh. Really, you've never been to the port city of, uh... Permalt. I think it was. I was told that you might want to visit me before you all leave. So please, what do you want? I I have a few things that I need to get ready. Can I uh, speak to you off to the side real quick? I, I have a thing I want. I want to fight him. <laughs> you want to fight? Who? Everyone. Uh, of course you do. Um, He's going to prescribe you a thing of chill pills. I'm going to throw them It's like there. an actual no. medicine bottle labeled chill pills <laughs> on it. It has like... <laughs> Dude, just chill. <laughs> so angry. Uh, so do you ah. need to chat in a private chat? Yeah, it'll be real fast. Ow. Three hours later. Why do you guys trust him to like? He's he's literally making people drink a bunch of stuff and and. Bro, Connor, you missed it. I actually found an excuse to empty my fucking flask earlier. What was it? What was it? What was it? Uh, we were all hung over, so I used it to wash my face. Mm. <laughs> it was a genius. Genius. Because it wasn't out of character, and it seemed like this was the right thing to do. Fair enough. Bring me that off. I'm gonna make a tiny Thor. I think that's what I'm going for the build archetype. Tiny Thor. Well, they have Mjolnir in this, so that's could what I'm potentially going after. get it. I already have a hammer that comes back, and I punch lightning, so I'm getting there. <laughs> well, there's a there's a hammer that just straight up does all that. Uh, like it, it summons lightning and it I comes it, back. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. It was the you one want that me to was, put the hammer down? It's the one that I was trying to get on um okay, on so. uh Odafrost, but I couldn't get it in time. Why? Oh. Well, I mean, because we ended it pretty quickly. But it's an actual item in D&D. &D. Hmm. It's All not right. even homebrew or nothing. Fuck it, I want it. I'm going to make Ada give me it. And I'm gonna be a tiny Thor. Or a tiny Thor. <laughs> it requires a bunch of stuff, though. Like strength. Um. Prerequisite items. Yeah, it requires some prerequisite items. Uh, I because I remember the two things that I had on Odafrost were things that required. 
Well, the thing is, is I can if it's anything with strength, I negate that with my armor because all strength checks become in intelligence checks. It's the hammer of thunderbolts. I want hammer of thunderbolts. What? Hammer of thunderbolts. I want. Oh my god. Do you want me to put the hammer down? <clears throat> it requires a belt of giant strength and gauntlets of ogre power in order to use it. Okay. In order to attune the weapon. All right, then. Then I will. I will. I will get it. So you want to get what? Uh, the hammer of thunder or lightning bolt. I'm going to be tiny Thor up in this bitch. Hammer of thunderbolts, but you need. Um. Belt of giant strength and gauntlets of ogre power in order to attune it. Yep. All right, I'll get it then. You need the belt of giant strength. All right, I'll get it. I'll f I'll find a way to get it. Wait, what? Where is the belt of giant strength? I got a stuck. Oh, uh, there's a whole bunch of them. There's like six. If I get a oh. six on this dick, I will. Because there's like different giants, and different ones give you different modifiers. I don't remember which one was the most powerful one, but I think it was like Hell Giant. It like makes your strength like a ridiculous number. Storm Giant. Something like that. Mm hmm. Storm Giant. And then I'm going to take OT Frost on with it when I see him. And it's going to end like that. I beat his ass. Um. Well, for today, I can make you a belt of fire giant. Do you have any money? I don't fucking know. I don't even have my sheet pulled up, I'll be honest. Let me pull it up. <coughs> I don't know if I spent any money. Um... Mm, yeah, because you bought it. You did buy that shield. I didn't know what I bought. I wasn't here. I assume that you bought um, shield. Yeah, the shield is in a quantum state of you have it, but you don't have it till n till you and Nessa observe. Man, I'll you be honest. It. I have no idea how much money I have. I don't think I wrote it down. Really? Yeah. I know I had some because like we got some from the thing and then I got the fucking other thing. I don't fucking remember. I have one job. I know. I'm I've been failing on it. Uh I'm gonna go look at the recording. It's written down in chat how much gold we each got. Yeah. Where is it? Is it it except for um what was it? I think it was like two hundred gold or something like that I took from you. Oh yeah, when you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two platinum, four hundred gold, twenty silver, six hundred copper. Minus two hundred gold. Minus two hundred gold, and then minus whatever you spent on the shield. I have that. I still have two platinum, probably. Um, let me let me see how much the shield. Oh well, it depends on if you want to make your own shield, or if you want to buy. The regular shield or a arrow catching shield? I'll make my own then. And I'll find I'll find like a prerequisite to for the shield to make it first before I do it. I'm I'll do it next session. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So just let's say fifty gold. And then did you wanna make it out of I'll iron or did you wanna make it out of something else? Um I'm not sure yet. I'll look at that later. Okay, take off a hundred gold. I have a hundred gold left. I'll allocate that for su shield supplies. Okay. So I'll just say um, I have a hundred gold on the shield in some form. So then, just I have a hundred gold left. Um. So if I can get it for a hundred gold or a platinum, I will. 
I do not care about money that much. So, for one plat and 50 gold, if you have it, yeah, you can get a belt of fire giant strength. Do it. All right, get, I'm gonna spend it all my money. I ain't got no more money. I, I put it onto your character sheet. So just refresh it when you're done. That's one. Mhm. All right. Um. Next on the list, I will just go down in order. Bren. Yes. I'm asking if I want anything from, from Archie. Uh. Ah. You asking if I want anything special from Archie or something? I need to look at rings then. Does someone know what they want? Yes. All right, I'll come back to you, Ben. Yeah. Um. Vice. Yes. I wanted to see if he has that jug. I've been looking all night for this jug, and I can't find it. Hmm. 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 I can do one better. How about that jug and I give you a little surprise. Ooh. Ooh. So, let's see. I normally don't like surprises, but this I gotta hear. Hmm. So, uh, seventy gold. Um, he goes into the back and he pulls out, um, this beautifully crystal crafted, um. Amphora. Fuck it. I'll use the same word. And, um... He... He looks at it, and in Gnomish, he speaks the word uh, champagne. And it fills with champagne. And then, um... In Gnomish, again, he speaks the word um... red wine. And it changes to red wine. And hands it to you, and he says, In Gnomish, when you speak the type of alcohol that you want, it will go ahead and change it to that type of alcohol. Vice hugs it, and a single tear rolls down his face. <laughs> it's everything I ever wanted. I'm glad, and it's only 70 gold. He gladly hands over the 70 gold. Awesome. Uh, you can you can add it to your. Movie. All right. Who's next? I think I found what I want. Want. Right. I happen to have a a ring of invisibility, for chance. Stop. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. Um, yes. 
that's going to be two platinum and two hundred gold. Oof. Okay, that worked though. I wish I thought to ask for that, but I couldn't have afforded that. How much is a platinum worth? Ten gold. Okay. That is all for me. You want me to add it to your inventory? Uh, if you already have it pulled up. There you go, just refresh your page. Um, the last two are Siegfried and Alorim. You want to go first? I, I, I don't think you'll let me have this, but... I just don't honestly know what I was what I want. I was looking through magical items, but I feel like this is gonna be something that's like absurdly expensive. But I don't honestly know. What was the the ability that Nathan used to teleport? Misty step. It's a spell. I have a spell similar. Because isn't there like ability. a bunch of step spells that are similar to that? Something like that. If I have a tree to my class, is I can mist walk. Um, so I will do, uh, I can give you this book for one platinum, 300 gold. Seriously? Okay, I'll take it. 300 gold? Yep. Add it to your backpack. Will do. I'll be studying that as things go on. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, Shit. Siegfried. Sheesh. It's my turn? Mm -hmm. This is gonna sound weird. Oh, I can get Misty Step. Okay. I want a legendary fish. A legendary fishing rod? Yes. I want an amazing fishing rod. <laughs> the best you could possibly get. So Can he's you... going to want it to be carbon fiber alloy with... Can you send that to me? Me? Did you find it? No, on... mm -hmm. no that's why I was, I was hoping you could find something. Oh, fuck. Homebrew. Uh, magic items. Fishing rod. I like to imagine a Lauren went up to Archie. He's like, I don't actually know what the fuck I want. And Archie was like, Here, take this. Study this for a week. <laughs> Give me your gold. Go.
Um, well, here we go. <laughs> oh, we also need a fishing tackle, huh? Where are you trying to fish? Everywhere there's liquid. <laughs> oh, is that happening to be a lake of lava? Time to go fishing! Oh look, that happens to be a lake of liquid carbon monoxide. Time to go fishing. All this talk about adventuring and cultists. I want I just want to fish for God's sake. <laughs> I mean, that's basically Adam, yeah. In every video game, can I fish his first question is can I fish? Who has the fish and why isn't it mine? I'll be back. Why can't I add this to your character? In your refresh the page. Grab my stuff out of the CV. Well, it is being dumb. Yep. Are we refreshing the page? Yeah. Because it's. You know what? Okay, I'm just gonna close this and real and hope that works. There it is. Um. So. For a hundred gold, uh, he will give you this fishing rod of wonder. I want it. What's wait? What does it do? <laughs> Um, so, uh, ten times a day. Ten times a day. You can cast it, uh, into a body of water. Okay. Uh, any body of water. And you can guarantee a catch that will feed at least ten people. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty <laughs> Or in your case, one person. Yeah, will the fish that I catch be legendary or something? Or like, like is it? It's too big. Just a big fish. Is there a chance for me to catch like rare fish? You roll a survival check, maybe. Oh, okay. Is there a chance for those rare fish to be big? Yes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Did you take a hundred gold out of your inventory? No. I'm going to now. Thank you. Um, and then refresh your page. Is I'm surprised you didn't. 
Huh? I'm surprised you didn't ask for blood scrolls. No. I just want fish. What? At least for right now. I... Um... Is that everybody? Hello? Wait, Connor. Yeah. Connor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hasn't Connor got Connor anything yet? What did he do? I already did it at the start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Um. So with that, he um basically pushes you all out and says, "Good, good, good. Now get out." Um, and that is where we will stop for tonight. All right. I got a fishing rod of wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I got a thing that will be worth lots of fun later. I have figured out the build for my character. I have a fucking shitty joke. Aren't we all? What? <laughs> Both in game and IRL? I That's mean, a... really. What did you order? I didn't know where I wanted to take my character, but I just figured it out by saying a fucking shitty ass joke. <laughs> Be like I want place. the hammer of Thor. All right, well, you have to get this, this, and this. Yep. Cool. There's my build path. Uh, you were, uh, yeah, no, I thought you, all, we already established you were becoming Thor Iron Man gnome. Or not gnome. Uh, yeah, but I didn't, like, I didn't visualize in my head on what I want until I said, do you want me to put the hammer down? Did you already have a hammer, though? Exactly. Yeah, but it's not God. the best. He it's not fucking, have. it's not Mjolnir yet. Yeah. Yet. Wait a second. Wait, babe. What? Why? Why does my fishing rod do as much damage as my long sword? You can't wield it. <laughs> All right. Excuse you me. Can't, you can't wield the fishing rod as a weapon. I you know. Ever... It's just funny. It's just funny because it's not damage against the fish. It is exclusive special damage type to fish only. I got ten charges. Yeah. A day. A day, right? Uh -huh. Damn, that's gonna be fun. I mean, and you don't have to use it charged. You could just, you know, regularly fish with it. We have time to attune the stuff for our next I'm outing. gonna find the rarest of fish. Um, and then... You will have time on the road. Alright. Wait, there's rivers on the road to fish? Um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> that's the next thing I need to ask for. A magical floating fishing pond. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a portal it to just a follow, portal. It just follows me wherever I go. And it throws fishing rod in, pulls out giant fish. They're in there! <laughs> it's the portal <laughs> to the fucking anything ocean world. in that pond that pulls out giant fish. What are you talking about? There's plenty of stuff in that pond. It's like a, it's like a, a bag of holding, but it's a bag of headless fish. It's a pond of endless fish. It wouldn't even be that. The the fucking rod just manifests a goddamn fish that's large <laughs> enough to feed you. What you need is like a wire hoop that is collapsible that when you open it, it creates a portal to the oh, surface of a the, nearby body of the, water. The main thing I want to do with the fish, besides eating some for myself, I want to sell them and uh, make a museum of uh, fish and show the world all the best fish ever. There needs to be a fish god. It needs to smite him? Yeah. And it needs to be at war with Kana? Or in league with Kana? Huh? We're not gonna talk about that. What? Worry about it. What about Kana? Kana Manana? From your last campaign, the witch queen lady. We're not gonna talk about that. Wait, what? Wait, I feel wait, like wait, this is spoilers. What? I feel like it is too, and I'm not even trying. I was just making it okay. Whatever. You're talking about me? No, no we're talking about the Dragon the Raven Queen's evidence. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. If there's, there's a fish god, they're definitely doing something with her. How do you know? I mean, I would guess she is. You know. Pirates and pirates are on the ocean, and ocean is where all the fish live. That's assuming. How dare you assume a pirate's life? Ah. 
past life for me. Adam, you were in my uh my shit list for bad jokes. <laughs> That's fine. It's perfect. Oh, you didn't hear Dux's and... joke earlier. Uh, you I, can I just... now. Okay. Dux has been on my shit list. <laughs>